Man, it's your Oracle Game Daddy here. Back in again for another live stream read for the love readings tonight. I see y'all dropping Zodiac signs down in the chat kind of stream below. Sorry, I just got done with someone's personal reading. I was doing all these readings and getting things done. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I am just now getting done with these readings that I did in between live streaming. And I'm not live streaming, y'all. I do personal readings. So if you want to book with me, book with me at OracleGameDaddy.com. It's been being crazy with the bookings, but I'm excited, I'm blessed, and I'm happy that everybody's trusting me with their energy. With that being said, we're going to get into the live stream lineup on my YouTube at Oracle Game Betty. We are just live right now with you guys so far, and then we're going to move on to TikTok, and I'll introduce them in. So we're going to take at least, uh, I would say four Zodiac signs. We'll do we'll do those from the YouTube, and then we'll go to TikTok and get the other six. But um yeah, you guys, I try to utilize as much time as I can to get these personal readings done so everybody can get them on time and all that good, good. I'm pulling up your live stream uh, comments right now. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all for being so patient. Um, <laughs> literally had no way to say that I was pulling up on y'all a little bit behind because um, I can't stop what I'm doing, but Thank you for understanding. Thank you for pulling up. We have Aries and then we also have Scorpio. So we have Aries and Scorpio. Aries always gets the bells and whistles because it's their birthday. Happy birthday, Aries. Gang Diddies and Diddies up in the building. I'm going to put like these cute little like confettis around your name so that you know that you can get some love, some extra love. Okay, send a little care. All right, when it comes to these readings. So I'm going to put a little heart next to your name and all that good stuff we're getting into scorpios they are second on the live stream lineup because they were last last live stream i don't know if y'all remember but the last love read they were last so that's what i have going on and then and then um i'm going to get into the next four and then i'm going to hop on to tiktok because i know my tiktok people are waiting and all that stuff so let me get this pop in so drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below let me know y'all ready for this reading all right, so I do see here, hopefully it goes all the way up. Oh, we're not going to go all the way up. All right, so, um, oh, here, here we go, Taurus. So we got Taurus Betty up in the building. We have Libra, Libra up in the building. Okay, Libra. Libra is early twice, career and for love. We have Cancer. All right, you guys, one, two, three, four, five. And then one more, we have Leo. Oh, no, we have, yeah, we have Leo because I already have Scorpio on here. All right, so it's Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Leo, okay? So that's what I'm getting from the uh, YouTube live stream, okay? Now, hop over on to TikTok if you want to to drop your zodiac sign and see um, if we can get your other signs that you want to be first. Pulling up on you, all right? Let me get these other Oracle card decks out of the way, you guys. Literally just going from one read to another. Um... All right, let's tap in. Let's get the live stream for TikTok going. Hey, Oracle gang. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Y'all already know what to do. Drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. I'm here with the YouTube gang. So if you're not already part of the YouTube gang, go and subscribe to my YouTube at Oracle Gang Betty. Okay, the same way it's spelled here, the same way it's spelled over there. And pull up out on me, pull up out on the gang on the YT. All right, with that being said, we're going to get into your uh, zodiac sign. So drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream. Let me know you're ready for the read. I see Gemini. I see Pisces. Ooh, Gemini. I see Pisces. Who else? We got a lot of Geminis coming in. The first like 10 is like Geminis. Um, we have Aquarius. Shout out to the Aquarius gang for coming in early. I saw Capricorn. Sir, we got Aquarius. We got Capricorn. And I'm just taking them as they roll through. We got Sagittarius. All right, and who's gonna be last? Why do I feel like one, two, three, four, five? Wow, so by default. So we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo. Virgo is last. So Virgos, you are last. Sagittarius, y'all were last this morning for the career reads, and you're second to last this time. So the cookie be crumbling for y'all today. I don't know, that's the way the cookie crumbled for y'all. All right, with that being said, Shout out to my Aries game, Beauties and Zadies, for pulling up our me for these personal readings, for your Zodiac sign readings, excuse me. I keep saying personal reading because I just literally got done doing them. Um, <clears throat> welcome in, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Let me make sure this chat stream is 
here. We're live, real, and raw. I can see all your comments. Okay, everybody's comments are lit. Thank you so much for pu pulling up around me. Hey, Nikki B. Nikki B was in the, in the morning live stream. I know that's right. And I got uh, my pet, my Pisces gang baddie up in here sending me the rosas. Thank you for the rosa. All right. Um, we also have Selfa sending me a rose. Thank you so much for that rosa. <laughs> Can you tell who I watch when I say that? Gracias para la rosa. <laughs> I love that girl, man. Um, so we have a regular sending me the roses. We also have Pisces um, sending me the friendship necklaces. And Angel sending me the rose. Thank you so much. It's lit on TikTok today. You know, shout out to the gang for pulling up around me. I have Lena British up in the building sending me those gummy bears. And you know, I'm hungry, honey. So don't send me too much food. I'm going to have to leave the last room to eat. <laughs> Thank you so much for the ice cream. I appreciate you, Jess. Everything for the rose. Thank you so much. Oh, somebody sent me my first slippers. You know, I'm collecting 22 today, you guys. So if you want to help me reach my goals, I'm collecting 22 of them slippers. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate you and everybody else who sent gifts before Ashley that I didn't get to see. Um, how am I doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. How are y'all? <laughs> I hope y'all doing better now that all these planetary shifts are kind of like dissipating. Um, we're still in Mercury retrograde, but it seems like we can handle it pretty well so far. So I'm not mad at it. I think it's going to be all right. I think we're going to be all right. Thank you, Campos. Enjoy, Campos. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Welcome in, HBZY. Welcome in, Bobby with Period. Welcome in. Thank you for liking the live stream. Angie, thank you for joining. I appreciate you. Brad Money, thank you for joining. Hadali, thank you for joining. Tan Tanya, thank you for joining. Kiara, thank you for joining. Y'all names is beautiful. Um, we have, uh, I don't even know. That name went so back by so fast. It started with a G. I saw it for a hot second. Hey, Millie, welcome into the live stream. Welcome in. Passionate, Jessica, user 60, 633. We also have Queen Netta, Sam Nails up in the building. Shout out to the gang. All right, so I'm shuffling up. I'm trying to clear out the energies from my previous live, or not live stream, from my previous personal reads. All right, let's tap in. Let's clear the energies. And let's get tapped into those zodiac signs without any further introduction because I know we run a little bit behind. All right, so um, Gigi, thank you so much for the heart knee. And Shea Bay, thank you so much for the roses. I appreciate you. We're going to cleanse the energy. We're going to cleanse the space. I'm going to go through prayer, you guys. So um, this is how I do my prayer on a daily. All right. To keep our energy uh, cleansed and tapped in to the right entities and beings, of, okay, in the building. All right. So um, with that being said, I'm going to tap in. Thank you, God, Source Creator, Ashes and Angels, for everything that you do for me in the collective on a daily. All the love, the substance, the abundance, the peace, the harmony, the grace, the balance, the protection. For I am nothing without it. I am everything with you. At this time, I ask that you cleanse my space, my mind, body, soul, and spirit so I can fully connect to those messages deemed worthy for all zodiac signs. Aries all the way through Pisces. Thank you, Source Creator. Ashe. Only that of love and light is allowed in this space. Anything low vibrational is commanded to leave by my higher forces of love and light out. Thank you, Source Creator, for all that you do for me in the collective on a daily. Only that of love and light is allowed in this space. Anything low vibrational is commanded to leave by my higher forces. And so it is. Ashe. Thank you, Source Creator, for all that you do for me in the collective on a daily, for we are nothing without it. We are everything with you. So glory be to the Most High forever and ever and ever. I. And so it is. I say. Um, <laughs> you believe some good news for the Scorpions? <laughs> I read that as I was closing out the prayer. Um, yes, I know that's right. Hey, Ashley. Ashley was in from the career readings. You guys, I do career readings, okay, um, at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to pull up around me, I do that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? The love readings are as well on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but the love readings are at night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So do the math wherever you at in the world and pull up around me, okay? I have all of my information on my TikTok here. On my profile so make sure you pull up and you tune in with that being said let's get into these messages for aries without further introduction all right you guys if you would like you can definitely subscribe at the bottom left there's a star um little icon on the bottom left of the comment section so you could definitely um subscribe to my tiktok specifically my tiktok for my tiktok users because i know i'm live streaming on my yt as well but for my tiktok user users you can definitely subscribe and you can get a five minute personal reading every saturday we are there at 10 a.m pacific standard time that's 1 p.m for my east coast biddies and zannies so if you want to pull up on me and get a five minute personal read and you want to be one of those first 50 that get that five minute personal read because i only do 50 i can't do more than that subscribe 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 it's 2.99 it's only visible to my tiktok subscribers only you're not going to see me live streaming publicly you're only going to see me live streaming for my tiktok subscribers only for those personal readings so if you want to be part of that part of the gang tap in on the bottom left of your screen and you're going to be able to access that all right with that being said i want to announce that i'm simultaneously streaming on my other platform right now okay so tap into the yt okay the tube of the u tap in and watch your live replay on 
the YT if you missed your sign. If you know anybody who's in the chat who missed their sign, help them out. Let's be a gang community and really help each other out here so I don't miss where to guide them, okay? Uh, Yana, thank you so much for the subscribe, boo. I'll see you on Saturday. Shout out to the gang. Yana is ready for the reads. I have 127 subscribers. My goal is 1,000. And I know I reached for the stars, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm a limitless being. Are you? Mm -hmm. Let's tap in. Let's get into these messages for Aries. Aries gang gang in the building. Shout out to my Aries. Drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. Let me know y'all ready for the read. Let me know y'all ready for the read. Where are my fireballs at? Drop my fireballs down in the chat stream. Let's get it. Okay. Drop some comments. Drop, drop some Drop some comment emojis or drop some um, rocket ships or something. Let me know you ready to blast off into these cosmos. What are they talking about? All right, when it comes to love and romance, let's get into it. All right, you guys, I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to reel it back. I'm being too silly right now. All right, so let's get it. Let's get into these messages. Be ready for your highest good. I'm going to use my Kipper card deck. I'm also going to use my Angels Answers Oracle deck as well as my Pink Lovers deck, okay? Um, we're going to use the timing cards in and out with certain readings, not probably for all, but for some. So if you guys see me using certain Oracle decks, it's just because I'm being guided to them, not because I'm being biased to the Zodiac sign, all right? So don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. I just want to be all alone. I've been singing throwbacks all freaking day since the career readings this morning i literally have been so um if you from the 90s 2000s <laughs> okay <laughs> pull it by me all right so with that being said thank you for dropping your emojis down in the chat let me know you're ready for the read aries let's get into it let's not waste no time let's see what's going on in love and romance Ashe. thank you source creator for the highest good of aries let's see what their messages are all right let's see what those messages are you like those throwbacks i like them too mm -hmm. i see you're ready in the chat <laughs> <laughs> welcome in welcome in my set is oh oh for real angela thank you thank you so much you like it it's lit or whatever sometimes the lights start flickering so don't think that there's like any spiritual activity over here i'm not gonna claim that but there could be okay <laughs> i'm just saying um no my cords are loose on my table so if you see my lights flickering it's because i'm slamming the cards on the table and it's making the cord more loose i gotta get a new cord y'all for my led lights so just in case y'all be like oh my god it's extraterrestrial paranormal activity it's not it's just me and my ghetto self because i don't know how to i'm too ratchet to get to order new uh cords and stuff like that and get it on the amazon so anyways truth uncensored hey welcome into the live stream the birds are quiet yep because they got fed and they're in their house they're sleeping they're sleeping in their little coconut so i gotta cover them up in a second because it's about to be like really dark outside so when the sun goes down i gotta cover the cage so they get um comfortable you have a card coming out we have expectation here okay we have expectations right here but don't jinx it renew renew don't jinx it that my birds are quiet because as soon as you said it they just start cheeping so they can hear you <laughs> don't do it i'm the second creator today to talk about chords for real it must be a universal thing going on with us all right so what do we have here we have um expectation it's, it seems like you're expecting a soulmate or you're expecting a relationship to work out for you okay if you're already dealing with somebody or something to turn into a relationship i get that some of you aries are dating somebody and you want something to turn into a relationship pretty pretty i want to say so bad i want to say like you're like obsessed but maybe you are. I don't know your business. But um, I do feel like you are expecting something to work out because you did put a lot of time and energy into it. And this person is cute and you're feeling them and they vibing with you and you vibing with them. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing that you guys are expecting um, for your soulmate to come in. If you don't have anybody who you're talking to or that you're actually interested in on a deeper level, you might just be like, mm, I'll just wait for my person or whatever and just do me for a while. But then you're getting bored of that. You're kind of like looking out the window, daydreaming or just daydreaming in your mind's eye, you know that's what you look like kind of spiritually on a spiritual level so there is that energy which i'm seeing it could be your sun moon or rising placement yes um we have a decision is being made here so for some of you guys you're trapped in a relationship that you don't want to be in and it seems like you are kind of daydreaming on what it would be like to be in another relationship to be honest you just got to be honest and you got to be true and say this is not authentic to me or the connection anymore i no longer vibrate at this energy at this energy with this person so that's what i'm seeing here um this is the love readings, boo. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm seeing here. Oh, my goodness. I miss you, too. Miss Caramel. You been so busy. <laughs> I'm here, honey. Pull up around me. Hey, Caramel. Anyways, let me get back to the read, y'all, because y'all get me excited. My OGs are coming back into the chat. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, so we have, we have here this uh, courthouse 
So this courthouse card can have to do with legalities. Maybe you have to get a divorce and, it, and it's talking about a lot of paperwork that you have to go through and maybe that's why you're daydreaming about it. For some of you guys, you're not married, but it seems like you have a lot of history with this person. So you're going through the history between you and them and you're like, mm, weighing the pros and cons. Is there more good things than bad things? Is there more bad things than good things in the relationship? And then you're kind of like, you know, trying to figure out what to do with it because honestly, Who's not at this point? It's Mercury retrograde and we just had two eclipses back to back as well as a full moon and a new moon. I mean, what do you expect? Emotions are running high. So at this time, I do feel like a lot of people could be possibly in the Aries Collective questioning their relationships or if you're dealing with an Aries. So maybe you, you other zodiac signs that are watching, you're dealing with the Aries and you feel like this about them or you realize they feel like this about you. But there is a lot of daydreaming. There is a lot of wondering where my person is or if I'm with my person type vibes here. So there is a decision making process that needs to happen. So that's what I'm seeing here. Oh, we have false person. Yeah. So that I was definitely channeling uh, that one scenario with uh, your person. You could be possibly with the person that you're like, mm, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It just might might not be my cup of tea right now. So you could be in the dating pool or the dating scene and you just keep running into people who are unrequited or who are shady. They're on their shady business. Or I get that they could be like <clears throat> spying on you or you could possibly, this could be you Aries. For some of you Aries, I just got that you're spying on somebody else like kind of low key in the background on their social media. You're creeping because you want to see if they're happy without you or you just want to see like who's their new girlfriend or boyfriend and if they look better than you. Why, why are you doing that? Who's doing that in the chat? Say I. Um, but there is this energy, okay? So I do see that somebody could be doing this to you or Aries, you're doing that to them. All right, so there is a decision-making process here. Somebody's thinking about going back to a past person or someone's thinking about going back to a person. Maybe they casually were dating. Maybe you're casually just taught on the talking phase and you're like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should go back to that. Or maybe that person's thinking about that with you, Aries. Okay. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody comes out of the woodwork trying to offer you a cup of love or something like that. So that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm really feeling from this energy. I'm also feeling like you guys, um, for some of you, Aries, you're really expecting you to make a solid decision about a person that you you no longer just want to be in a relationship altogether because you just feel like you dragged it out for so long. But you might feel stuck in that situation. I get that for some of you. Yes, you could be um, divorced or something like that. Or you could be having to go through a divorce. So there is that energy where it's like, mm, I'm feeling stuck in a situation that I want to get out of. Um, for others of you, you're just keeping yourself there. I don't know why. Maybe it's the codependency of like something you benefit from by being in this person's energy. I do get for my singles, Aries, I do feel like you guys have expectations on like someone making a decision on you. Maybe you know that somebody is talking to, to multiple people and you're just like, you're not trying to be the pick me person, but low key, you really want to be the person that, you know that person wants to be with but you're not going to go out of your way in order to do it but you are kind of like spying maybe on their social media or keeping an eye on like their story or seeing what they're doing and stuff like that and you might just be like oh well if they're going to do that i'm going to go elsewhere or i'm going to like apply my energy elsewhere or something of that nature i'm also seeing here um someone is offering you a cup of love for those who are single not talking to anybody um for my single aries not talking to anybody i do get that here you have um, a person offering you a cup of love for sure, 100%. So that's what I'm seeing here. Um, I feel like soon you're going to have to decide whether or not you want this cup of love because it may be coming from a person who you see as immature or deceptive or maybe they are a liar but they're too cute but you can't get over it. Um, I'm getting like, I don't know, someone's charming here. I don't know if they're cute on the outside or on the inside. They're just charming. They have like this swag about them, male or female, that it's just like, it swoons you. It swoons a good, a good Aries vibe. I mean, so at the end of the day, I don't blame you, but at the same time, you have to know what's karmic and you have to use your discernment. So with that being said, we're going to move on from that, okay? And see what else is here. So welcome in, welcome in to all my Oracle Gang Gang and Zadies. We are working on Aries, Aries Gang Gang in the building. Is my live stream frozen or something? I don't see the comments swirling at all. You guys aren't commenting? Y'all just listening. Y'all like, oh my God. <laughs> it's on Aries. <laughs> <laughs> all right so what do we have here my pisces crystal shoe okay <laughs> i was like is it broken i'm seeing nobody commenting everybody's into the reads um yata thank you for liking the live stream Gigi, thank you for liking the live stream kiara thank you for liking the live i appreciate you and <laughs> jenna said i'm listening listen i need to shut up and listen <laughs> it reminds me of that um that movie what is that princess diaries where her friend is like i'm something 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 i forget what her name is and she's like and we're here with shut up and listen. <laughs> Literally, that's how I feel. Mika Belli, thank you so much for the roses. I appreciate all of those dozens of roses. Ooh, and True Sensor, thank you for so much for the TikTok gifts. 
All right, I'm still shuffling up for you, Aries. So this is really surprised that it's taking forever for me to get a card for you. I'm trying to like, <laughs> you see me talking, like I'm trying to like talk the entire time I'm shuffling. Um, thank you, Treasure. Um, we have very soon clearly decide what it is that you want. So it comes to you now. Why is the same card? This is literally what I said. So for those of you who are like, that's not my read. That's not my read. Well, it's probably your person or somebody who you're dealing with. Somebody's deciding on something because we have it twice. Do you see the decisions that need to be made from two different Oracle decks? That is kind of crazy. All right, so that's just double confirmation that there is a decision to make here, whether you're single or in a relationship, whether you like the relationship, whether you don't, whether you have a person or whether you don't. There's a decision to make, apparently, when it comes to love and romance. I see express your love here. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I also see that you are loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I am seeing this here. Um, I do feel like a lot of people, Aries, are very much attracted to you when you're in your personal power, when you're in your um, fiery nature. Um, and it's just because they're attracted to your energy. It's not that you're prettier or you're more handsome at that time. It's just that they're more attracted to that energy when you're in the energy of self-respect or self-love. You're not really bothered with anybody else, but not in a rude way, but just in like a, oh yeah, you know, like I'm not going to hang out today. You know, I have things to do or yeah, I'm pretty busy today. Maybe, um, next Saturday, like you're not that so it, it just gives the person to it gives the person the need or the want to reach out to you. So there is like this like you're naturally like busy. You're not really just trying to play hard to get, although it may it may seem like that, or maybe some of you are, I don't know. But it seems like you staying optimistic about the relationship here or about your love life. So depending on if you're in a relationship or not, you could be staying optimistic about your relationship because you're learning how to be independent of the relationship while you're in a union. So very soon you're going to clearly decide, I, do I want to stay here and express my love or do I want to go a new direction? This is something that you are expecting to make a decision on very soon. I get in the next two to eight days. I feel like for a lot of my areas, it's not going to be too much longer because for some of y'all, you have been sitting on this for a while and the eclipse has been telling you to make a decision or uh, take action towards what it is that you really want instead of um, perpetuating a lie or a situation that you really don't even want to be in for some of you guys. For others of you, I do feel like you do want to be in this situation or this romance, should I say. Um, the other one seemed like more like a situation ship. But um, this other message that I'm getting for those of you who are in a relationship, I do see here that you could be possibly um, in this energy of self-love and expression and you're learning to love yourself within the connection because Aries you have a tendency to be a little bit codependent on someone's energy or wanting attention and it's because you're the youngest zodiac sign of the zodiacs so with that energy it's kind of in your nature in your innate nature to want to have attention or to want to always do something or want to always have your person be around or just to spend time so you could have the the love language quality time also words of affirmations and things like that could be highly favored in your uh, bucket list of like things that you would expect your person to do towards you so there is that energy here but spirit is saying that you're going to be pulling back and learning how to love yourself first or stay busy with that energy and i also see here that you're staying it's helping you stay optimistic about your love life it was also helping the person it's not helping the person i would i shouldn't say in those words but i should say that it is assisting the relationship where the person wants to uh do more grand gestures or express their love more instead of you always being the one to express it does that make sense so i feel like someone else is more open and willing to open up um i also get that someone is false being false or fake uh optimistic in a relationship so they're pessimistic about the relationship but they're being fake optimistic um i don't know if you're in a serious commitment with this person but it's either you or them so i ain't gonna put fingers aries but i am getting somebody in some some sort of situation or relationship here that someone's being fake optimistic about the relationship um it has to do with like an offer to like I don't know to rekindle things or maybe someone gifted somebody something and someone's not trusting why they gifted them something so somebody feels love bomb or like gaslit to stay in a relationship or connection so it seems like someone's kind of watching their back I don't know hey Jules 4444 in the building um so I am seeing this here though with that being said, I do feel like there's a lot of expression of love here um, that you have to give, Aries, for those of you who are single. Um, very soon, you're about to be in your own energy and attract love. I just don't see the love here yet for some of you guys. For others of you, you're already in a connection that's working out really great. It's only leveling up because uh, a lot of my Aries are in independent energy. Miss Independent, Miss Suspicion. <laughs> I don't know why I just heard that, but... Anyways, that was weird. Okay, so um, now that we cut, <laughs> something is happening for real, camera. 
Um, now that we are um, in this energy, I'm going to shuffle up and I'm going to get into your advice with the angels ancestors card or angels answers card excuse me <laughs> so what do we have here for my aries gang beauties and deities thank you jay for liking the live stream we also have kara in the building shout out to kiara in the building shout out to nikki in the building thank you so much i appreciate you k boogie shout out to the gang all right, you guys really pull up on me. So thank you for being consistent. Run up those shares and run up those likes. We have 18 shares and 32.2K likes. Let's run it up. Let's try to get to 100 on both. All right, with that being said, I do see that something is going to happen in perfect timing, but it requires you to show the world the real you. So show this person or the world if you are single you need to be walking around without the mask on or somebody else needs to be walking around a little bit more assertive if it's not you it's your person somebody here is in the perfect energy to to start doing this or to be more of their true self authentic self and things like that i feel like some some of y'all probably cut certain people out or cut out an ex or cut out old friends ex besties ex homies whatever and there is this energy here where you guys are choosing to be in your own energy because you know you're always going to attract new people towards you because you're in Aries. So you're going to have new friends if you want to have new friends. And if you don't want to have new friends, you won't. So there is this energy of like, you're going to be more in this energy of being more assertive in your love and relationships. So that's what I see here. I also see you are ready right now to be able to receive love. You just have to close something out. So for some of you guys, you have to close out emotional baggage. Maybe this person is not around your energy, but I'm picking up on it because it's recent. It's your most recent relationship that had ended. So I do see here that you could possibly be in the energy of emotional baggage release. And being in the energy of self-love and self-care right now in order to stay optimistic about your love life for a lot of my Aries who are newly single. For others of you who are already in the talking phase or dealing with somebody casually or committedly, I do feel like there is a false person in and around your energy. It could be very well your ex or the past or the uh, your person that you're talking to, their past ex. So there is somebody here who's interfering from afar, but like kind of like in like a sneaky way. They're just trying to keep an eye on uh, like if y'all I just I just saw y'all go to dinner or something and like it, it's, it's like you're going out to eat. I don't know if it's breakfast, lunch or dinner, but it's like somebody is recording on their phone and y'all probably did this recently. It's going to be somebody in the chat. Y'all um, for my Aries may resonate with somebody recorded uh you know out out to dinner out to brunch or something like that and only showed like the hands on the table type vibes i don't know who's still doing that i feel like that was like 2020 era <laughs> 2019 but um wh whoever's still doing that it's the past person watching you so there is that energy so it's either your past person or your person who you're with their past person hating on this offer of love or this uh enjoyment that you're having in a relationship with to this person so that's what it's giving it's kind of like giving that someone's keeping an eye on you for some reason i don't know why i just get the need to tell you aries not all not all friend requests are friend requests some people are surveillance cameras so watch the people who you have around you because if you think that they are celebrating with you they could be um they could be preying on your demise, okay? They could be concerned about things. They could know other people and be like, mm-hmm, because misery loves company. And a lot of people, you know, will end up like that. But it's not that you have to watch out for it. I'm just saying use your discernment. Don't tell everybody on your business, okay? But I do feel like you're going to be looking for a sign to see if you're with the one. I do feel like you're ready right now to be in the energy of calling in exactly what you want with love and relationships. I do feel like you need to be more assertive for some of you. This is your advice. You need to show the world the real you. You need to show these people when you go on dates and stuff. Don't just be high kiki and literally let people know on these dates what you want, what you expect out of a person. They're going to stay if they know they can be that person. They're going to disappear if they can. Okay? And if you if you guys know that they just want to get in your for a one night stand then you're gonna know okay so there is that energy here um coming through for your reading i'm gonna get the cards that's on the floor hold on one second all right you guys if you like these readings if you want to see more of these readings and you're new here to the game welcome in definitely give me a follow at oracle game betty on tiktok and on my yt my tube of the you okay so make sure you're tapping in all right with that being said i'm going to get into my extra bell and whistle for my aries game babies and babies i actually want to see what the past person has to say hold on real quick we're going to tap into the past person if someone's ex um, outside y'all connection is trying to interfere or maybe just like in the background kind of spying I want to see what their hidden truth is as to why they're doing it I kind of want to just tap into that real quick since they want to be the surveillance camera we're going to surveillance them all right because I think that's really rude and it's coming in the reading um so let's say let's say 
You said the Libra just left their ex because they went to dinner with their ex for 15 years who was an Aries. Nico Belli. Oh my God. That was you. Um, I'm sorry. Um, we have, I look for you everywhere. I look for you everywhere. So this person has been looking for this type of person everywhere. I, it's either your ex, like I said, for some of my Aries, not for all, this is a general read. Um, for others of you, it's going to be a person's past person people be coming up out the woodwork it's working retrograde what do you expect we'll be we'll be out of working retrograde in no time flat i mean it, it ends april 25th so if your past didn't come back just yet we on the last home stretch maybe they will maybe they won't but this is what you're what they're thinking whether or not they come towards you or not it's just the energy of them lingering around in your relationships for some of my aries so there is this energy of like oh i'm grateful for the spiritual lesson i've learned things from being in a relationship with you or i've learned things from my memories from the past whether that was good or bad and i do see that i want to look for you and other people or that i look for you everywhere in hopes that i will run into you so you have somebody like this aries in hopes of that hoping that y'all will be together again low-key but they're never going to admit this because i get that this person that you were with was stubborn okay i get that this person that you were with had a little bit of ego and pride okay because now they're just now starting to understand the connection when they had the opportunity to but they left before you could leave them or they did something wrong that you would find out about and uh left before you could leave them okay for somebody else who's in a relationship, I do feel like your person, if, if you don't want to be in a relationship with that person, that person actually knows that uh, you don't want to be in the connection. They actually can feel your vibes or your energy. And so you you guys are kind of just like dragging out the, the whole thing. So you're being asked to close it out. For some of you guys, you already did this. For a lot of my Aries, you already uh, achieved this. For others of you, you haven't yet. So that's what I'm seeing here. What else do we have here for my Oracle Gang babies and Zadies? What else do we have here? For my Oracle Game babies and Sadies, when it comes to um, their extra bell and whistle. Do you guys want to do the letters? Comment below if you want to do the letters. Or comment below if you would like to do the Zodiac sign dice. To see who the past or the present person is. For some of you guys, this will tell you who your future soulmate or person is. Yes, we're getting a boat. We got the letters. Shout out to the gang. We got the letters in the building. Um, thank you so much for pulling up around me. We're doing the letters because I think we got the most votes for letters. Nice. All right, so we're doing the letters, you guys. All right, let's see, let's see. What do we have for my Orca Gang Babies and Babies up in the building? What do we have? So let's get into these letters. Let's see what these letters are talking about. All right, so we have a W here. Somebody's first, middle, or last name initial could be a W. We have another W, first, middle, or last name initial. They could have two Ws. It could be like, um, oh, you know what? It could be a WM. Because I want, you know what's crazy? I want to say Wilhelmina model. I don't know who's a model or who you thought was a model, or maybe they. They talked about it, or maybe you dated a model, or maybe somebody told you it was a model, or you said that somebody was a model, or you were about to. This could be a person who you're about to meet, or a person who you already met, dealt with of the past, or something like that. So I do see this here. But that I see uh, two Ws. Um, I also see that this person could like wrestling, like WWE type stuff. Not of the current, present moment. I do feel like they liked it in the past. Um... Cause we have an e wow <laughs> like i just li literally flipped that over that kind of um shook me but um yeah we have a wwe here so someone's first middle or last name initial could start with an e or a w we have an s for, it's the first initial of the first name middle name or last name for those of you who are asking in the chat and we also have an o Somebody just said whatever, so what? I don't know if somebody just, I don't know. Maybe for some of you, this is a past person that's trying to come back to you. And you're like, I don't know, whatever, so what? I just heard that. I don't know what that is. Um, we have a, a number seven here. 
okay? So I do see a number seven. You could be a life path seven. This person could be a life path seven, or you guys could be born in July. Um, if it's not that, you guys were together for seven years or seven months, whether it was on and off or all the way straight through. I'm seeing that here. Um, I am seeing with this seven. It's giving me like you guys could... You guys could have a seven in your zip code or area code. It's your area code. It's the number that you use before you dial the number. You know what I'm saying? Those three digits. What is that? The zip code? No, the area code. That's the area code. There's a seven in somebody's area code is what I'm getting. All right. Let's get some more letters for my Aries. Um, the next batch says it's going to be an A, first, middle, or last name initial. <clears throat> we have an R, first, middle, or last name initial. We have a P. Someone has a ARP or something like that. I think that's like that security. <gasps> surveillance camera. Didn't I say that? I definitely said that. Isn't ARP a surveillance camera? Like to protect your home type thing? Bye. Um, we have an eight. I literally said that. Okay, so I have an eight here. All right, you guys. I have an E, first, middle, or last name initial, the E coming out again for the second time. And we also have a Z, first, middle, or last name initial, and we have a two. Somebody could have been born in 1982, or they could be 28 years old. Um, I do get that somebody here was either born in February or August. I do get that somebody here's life path is an eight or a two. I do feel like y'all probably been seeing a lot of two, 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 or will be if you meet this person that has this, uh, these letters in their name, first, middle, or last name initial. Um, I do feel like they could be in and around the age of 28 or just turning 29. So there is that energy here. It's either they're about to be 28 or they just turning 29 from 28. There's something in and around the number 28. Somebody could be born on the 28th or the second or the eighth day of any month they were born in. Um, I also get that somebody here has been told to somebody or it's, it's either that the Aries told somebody this or they the Aries themselves been told this from somebody that they're easy, that they're like easy catch or like there's something like that. Um, something comes easy and I don't like that energy. Um, we also have this energy of, um, so we have the Z, the E, the A, the R, the P. I also get that here. Um, someone could be into music, like hip hop, rap, whatever you do. Somebody's in music here. Um, somebody could possibly want to visit New Zealand or have been to New Zealand. I also see here for others of you, um, someone, <laughs> you know what I'm hearing? My birds chirp, but also somebody here is, um, hard of hearing something with their ear. Like they were pulled by the ear. Maybe they have big ears that stick out away from their face. Like, you know, the ears, because your 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 parents pulled on your ears, so your ears are like that. Or maybe it's hereditary, you know, it comes in the in the family. Um, but something about the ear, someone's hard of hearing as well um, because of music or because of nightlife. I get that somebody was a bartender, a club goer, or just like, um, I don't know, like a promoter, a, a VIP promoter. For some of y'all, this person did that at some point in their life, whether they still do that or not. Uh, somebody definitely worked in the hospitality industry. When I say that, I mean like restaurant, the club, the bar, that kind of vibes, um, whatever position they were in. But that's what I see for my Aries game, Fadies and Sandies, okay? So with that, I hope that resonated at some, at some level. Um, like I said, these readings are general reads for all zodiac signs, and they're zodiac signs specific to any placement of your zodiac sign chart. Um, so if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can, but these aren't as accurate as they can be if you booked a personal, okay? So you can book with me at oraclegamebaddy.com. Let's get into Scorpio's read, because I see all my Scorpions down in the building, down in the chat. Hey, hey, Sayla. Was it resonating? You said, oh my God, guys, for real? What was it? You gonna have to tell me, honey. I see Claire, Shag, Shay, Treasure. Who else I see? I see Nicole, Angela, Sh Shanae, Keeping Up With Key. I see Dolly. I see Molly. <laughs> I see Marisol. <laughs> 
I see RR77 and Treasure up in the building. Thank you guys for the roses. I appreciate you. Shout out to the gang for pulling up and for dropping your zodiac sign down in the chat room below. Let's get into these um, readings for my Scorpios. Okay, so let's do it. Um, we got Jazz, Ray, Jordan, Shay, Bye Bye. <laughs> we got Tamara, uh, Veronica, Chetty. Chetty was in the live streams earlier today. I remember for you from the career live streams, boo. Thank you so much for coming back. You guys, I do offer career readings for all Zodiac signs at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it's lit. Let's tap in. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So that's what I'm seeing here. All right. So we're going to get into my um, Scorpios, okay? For my Scorpios. We're going to get into my Scorpio gang babies and cities. So drop your zodiac signs. Continue to drop them. Continue to share up the live stream. I have 22 shares and 45.4k likes. I know that's right. So turn up. All right. Let's get it. Let's put this back here on the board. And we're going to tap into my Scorpios. I'm going to start off with my infamous pink oracle deck. I'm excited. So let's do it. Let's get it. And if you guys would like to rewatch the replay to the Aries read, you're more than welcome to. If you see anybody in the chat as well mentioning that they haven't seen it, I would definitely uh, let them know that we're already simultaneously streaming on the tube of you. So I just want to let y'all know that. All right. Your YT is being weird. Does it look weird from y'all from your angle? Is that why you're not on? Is the quality weird? Is it? Is the quality not quality? All right, anyways, what do we have here? Oh, you can't comment on the YT? Oh, yeah, you got to be subscribed to comment. So make sure you're subscribed to the YT. You can comment if you subscribe. Le tube of you. <laughs> oh, God. I have to say it like that. I have to say it like that. <laughs> it wouldn't let you chat acting like you wasn't subscribed? Oh, snap. Really? Mm -mm. For real? It's set up like that? Not that doing it. Nothing doing that to you. There we go. All right. So, anyways, um, I will fix that at at some point in the next live stream. I'm not gonna do it right now because we're just gonna be distracted. But uh, you said seven years together. Oh wow! And you're a Cancer, really, Shayla? That is crazy how that resonated. That last um, Aries read. Now who said the birds are quiet? Oh God! Keeping up with key. See, I told you. You gotta stop. You gotta stop telling me they're behaving because they be. You know why? You know why they're doing that? They're singing themselves to sleep because they know it's bedtime. So let me just hold up. I'm gonna put a quick pause, not literally, but I'm just gonna step away for a hot second to put this uh, sheet over top of their thing because the moon's starting to starting to rise and the sun's starting to fall. So um, they need this sheet to be feeling safe. I don't know if y'all knew that, but if you have birds, they need the little sheet to feel safe and secure. They like it to be dark. They like to go to bed at 6 p.m. I said, that's fine with me because I got a live stream. I ain't got time to mess with y'all at 6. <laughs> I love them, though. They're so cute. I was playing with them earlier. They're only two months old. They're so tiny. But you see how they hushed up? Yep. Because they know it's bedtime. They excited for this. They said, we're here for this. <laughs> All right, so here we go. All right, let's get into the... Let's get into the reading for my Scorpios. And you know, shout out to the gang. Let's tap into my Scorpios. <laughs> Ursula, welcome into the live stream, Michelle. -y. Thank you so much. It's good. Yeah, you guys got in. See, everybody else got in on, on the on the YT. How do you figure out if you're a Scorpio moon or a rising? Oh, go to my um go to my profile picture right here. Tap on that and then go to my bio and you'll see it there um, in the link. There's a link in my bio that says, um, find out your full zodiac chart. It'll tell you and it'll break it down to you. Like there's paragraphs about yourself when you put in your time and your, your date of birth and stuff. This is really good, wow. Um, so the first few cards that we get out for Scorpios, we have very soon clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you now. It seems like for some of my Scorpios who are single, um, it seems like you are trying to manifest or that you are already in the energy of a relationship here, a commitment. Whether you're married, whether you are uh, attracting somebody if you are single, um, there's some type of commitment here or someone who you see as marriage material or they see you as this. So this is what I'm seeing here. I feel like, uh, someone definitely has their eye on you and they're very, very much, um, in the energy of taking it serious. You know what I just heard? I heard John Lennon or John Legends, not Lennon. 
um, John Legend's Take It Slow song. So I do feel like someone's trying to take it slow. It's either you, Scorpio, or them. But there is this energy of a soulmate. So there is a soulmate coming towards you if you're not already with a soulmate, okay? For some of you guys, you kind of knew. You had an inkling that you was with a soulmate. So it's given that, yeah, this is your confirmation. You are definitely with a soulmate. Now, we do have more than one soulmate. It doesn't mean that you have to only be with that one. Um, I've met multiple soulmates in my lifetime so far. And I'm still young. So, um, with that being said, I do find that you, Scorpio, this could be one of your soulmates and you could choose whether or not, because you have free will and that's what God's source creator gives us is free will. You could choose whether or not you want to be in this type of connection and if this connection is connecting for you. So with that being said, I do see that there is a marriage material here. Um, and with that being said, for some of you guys, you are actually married. So take that how it resonates. I'm getting two, um, two, uh, pools of, uh, of energy here. Um, I'm also seeing that someone is trying to decide whether or not they want to be married or want that because somebody doesn't want to sign papers. Somebody doesn't want that type of commitment. Somebody is afraid of the uh, actual contract or paperwork part of it that has to do with marriage. Like someone's kind of jaded or not sure. They're like, oh my God, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's giving that it might be one of those things where you guys are kind of just together without a title for a while until somebody feels comfortable with that. I don't know if somebody's getting cold feet. Maybe somebody's getting cold feet. I don't know. But it's definitely something that's worth being discussed. So very soon somebody's going to have to clearly decide to discuss that because it seems like you're with the person that you always wanted to manifest, Scorpio, or you're about to be if you are a single Scorpio. I do see here that this could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Somebody here... Um, could definitely uh, be a person that you didn't expect. Let's just say that. You didn't expect to come in and sweep you off your feet, but they're doing that, male or female. So whoever this is, like somebody's heart is taken. And Scorpios, it don't seem like you open to that normally. And it's funny because you're about to get something that you normally aren't open to, especially after getting heartbroken in the way that you have in the past. So I do see this here. Um... Wow. So what's on the other side of what's on the other side of this could be the one unrequited love. What did I say? I knew it. I knew it. OK, we have unrequited love here. I told you after not having that, <laughs> I literally just said that I said, yeah, because you, it was after not having that. And on the other side of not having is having. OK, C case closed. That's that's the cookie. That's the way it crumbles. Like, that's literally what you're doing and what you're attracting. So if you guys don't believe me, you're about to find out. You're going to learn today. That's what Spirit said. All right. So there is that energy here. Um, for some of you guys who are dealing with a relationship, very soon you're about to clearly decide, do you want to be in this marriage or this connection or commitment? This is your person. This is your soulmate. The thing is, is that somebody feels as though they're not ready for a commitment or there there's something uh distracting or dated to the connection um but there's a lot of attraction here see i don't know why y'all doing that i don't know if it's you scorpio or your person but somebody's off here they're stuck in their head they're stuck in emotions of the past or some back and forth energy it has potential to work out but it's like it's unrequited because somebody's getting cold feet there. They ain't my business, but I'm just tapped in. All right, here we go. So what do we get for the timing cards for singles or those in a relationship for my Scorpio gang babies and zitties? They want you to stop obsessing first because I get for some of you guys, you're like, well, when is my person coming in? If this my person, when is this going to work out if I'm already with them? Or if this my person coming in and I haven't met them yet, when and, when and how, what they going to look like? Spirit says, stop obsessing first. You're really giving yourself Mary, Mariah Carey Eminem vibes. Why are you so obsessed with me? You're obsessing. Maybe somebody's obsessed with you. Maybe you're being smothered. For some of my Scorpios, you don't like being smothered. You like your own space. Um, and I also get that you like your peace. Um, it's the peace that you cannot buy. Okay, so there is this energy where I do feel like this person is really into you. 
and I don't know, like you just not really feeling it. So you're the unrequited love. It's not them, it's you. For some of you guys, you don't want this, but you want it. This is what I don't get about y'all Scorpio sometimes, because when I, whenever I do your reading, it's not that I know you guys personally, because every Scorpio is different. I never judge people on their zodiac signs, but when every time I go into your read, I always get this limbo effect. Like y'all want something so bad, but when you all get it, y'all don't want it, but you still want it, but you don't know if it's with that person. And then you're too afraid to keep wanting it. And it's like, what child, you got me going crazy at the public lot of this okay we have um just around the corner yeah you have something just around the corner so stop obsessing it is here we have the wedding card here twice in two different oracle decks so this is what i'm seeing here um marriage material like i said for some of y'all already married to this person for others of you you're attracting marriage material this person is definitely going to be the next committed relationship you have if you want it because child for most of y'all you are the unrequited one i normally say in other readings that the other person is the unrequited one and they're the ones who effed up but it seems like for some of my scorpios not all of you but for some of you guys you are not wanting the relationship but you kind of want it but you kind of don't it's because you're scared so scorpios i feel like you need to release negativity or this mindset that you don't deserve love because you do it's here it's happening a little later than you think but it is just around the corner so this is giving me like when it says later than you think and just around the corner it's giving me like <laughs> you know what type down below i'm gonna play a game with y'all scorpios type down below and tell me what you when how long you felt like later than you think was because for some of you guys you're like i ain't gonna have love it's gonna happen later than i think so what was it that you thought how long was it was it a year a few months a few weeks like how long comment below i just want to take i want to do a poll i want to take a test i want to do a test because normally if you're in a collective of zodiac signs, you will all say the same thing. So I'm trying to see if y'all will all say the same thing or it'll be all different. You said years. So most of everybody's saying years, a few months, like six months. Okay, so we're gonna lift what, what's underneath just around the corner, okay? So you guys who said six months, y'all are psychic. <laughs> Y'all are psychic. Y'all are psychic. In and around six months or a few months is September. So this is what's just around the corner is September energy. As you can see, the flowers are blossoming in this photo and the other one in both of these cards. And it is happening later than you think. So it is going to happen, but it's not in two years it's funny it happens sooner but are you guys going to be open that's the question i don't know you might still be in this unrequited love energy too afraid to open up or be be vulnerable or everything that you ask for happens so quick you're like oh no it's already here i didn't stay ready so i can get ready and now i gotta get ready because i didn't stay ready i digress i digress <laughs> <laughs> I digress because because some, for some of my Scorpios I just I really in because you have a soulmate here I just I can't I want you guys to be happy like what the <laughs> shades over here crying are you crying like crying or are you crying laughing I'm scared is that make you cry I'm sorry um ask your angels is everything you ask your angels for it's everything that you've been being assertive about. Like when you when you go on dates and stuff, you very much are like, yeah, I'm not really feeling you. Male or female. Like you just, y'all just be pulling up as yourselves, authentically, unapologetically. And so it's up to you. That's what Spirit is saying. This is the last card that came out out of these three cards. These three cards that come out of this whole deck says it's up to you because of this you're the unrequited love you're the one who doesn't want it but wants it but doesn't want it and doesn't stay ready when it happens and then you're not ready and then you want to be single and then da, 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 and then you're in a year another year passes this is why y'all be going through it every year 
So Spirit is saying we spoke, we hope you listen, and that's what I'm seeing here. That's all I was tapped into for my Scorpio game, babies and Zannies. Hopefully it resonated with most of you. If it didn't, that's okay. You can check out my other readings on my Tube of the U, Le Tube of the U. All right, at Work with Game Vanity. So check those readings out. The ones from last week were very lit. So uh, check those out, rewatch those. They need some view time, some watch time, and also some love in the comments. I'll always get back to everybody's comments. So that's always exciting to see y'all comments down there. Um, with that being said, let's get into Taurus's read. It's so funny because you've been looking for the signs that confirm that you're with the right person and this confirms. I know that's right. Keep it up with key. This was your read, honey. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you guys, it, they are available right now. So I have my readings from $25 all the way to $100 readings. Check them out. They're at my site, oraclegangbanny.com. If it's your first time here, definitely subscribe or follow on either one of my platforms or both. So that way you don't never miss a read. All right. Um, no, you guys don't get the letters because that was only for Aries. We're in their birthday season. So that's my birthday gift from me to them. That's what it is. I know, you guys. I know. But soon it'll be Taurus. Next thing you know, Scorpio, it'll be your season. Because you know how the year goes. It flies by like that. So with that being said, we are going to tap out of Scorpio's energy. And we're going to get into Taurus's energy. So I'm going to cross out my Scorpio's. Taurus, drop some elephants down in the chat. I want to stampede up in the bed. All right, where are my Taurus is at? Hey, Miss Creole. Hey, Sweet Marie. Hey, Pinky. G.A. Millie. Hey, Jessica. We got another Jessica Sanchez. All right, you guys. Pull up around me. Let's go, Taurus. Let's go. Shout out to Miss Caramel in the chat. She a Taurus. Shay Lay. She a Taurus. We have uh, Ashley. I don't know if Ashley a Taurus, but pull up. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, Taurus, you might be looking for a sign about something. I do get that you could be gaining a lot of signs. It's not really that you're looking for it. It's just that you keep looking around and you keep seeing signs. So, we're already in your energy. With that being said, let's get into the messages. What do we have here for my Taurus? If you believe, if you believe that these are signs and signals to what it is that you're thinking and feeling about love and relationships, whether it's positive or negative, about your love and relationships whether you're single or in a relationship if you believe that you are getting signs spirit says you are that's what they say it so if you've been seeing one 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 two 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 five 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 six seven eight nine ten whatever you've been seeing that's the sign to your personal like life <laughs> your life situation romantically okay listen to your intuition i told you it's on the other side here literally pulled the other card on the other side of this and it says, listen to your intuition. I'm telling you, your intuition is never going to steer you wrong, especially for you, Taurus, because you're so grounded. You're so stable. You're so much in that grounded elephant energy, okay? So with that energy, I do feel like you're earth bound to the vibrations of what your intuition will tell you. And sometimes you are stubborn. No, you don't want to follow your intuition. And that just comes from being the Taurus earth sign that you are. But Spirit is saying, if you believe that we are giving you a sign... This is correlating with your intuition about love and relationships. So if some of you, you know you're supposed to be leaving a relationship alone, leave it alone. I don't care if you're casually talking or been in a committed relationship, leave it alone. Because your intuition is trying to tell you something that you are being guided to do and you're resisting. You're resisting this change. And for some of you guys, you're coming up against more blockages and challenges in your life. And you're like, why do things keep happening to me? You almost sound like Kevin Hart. No, oh, why? And I'm not trying to pull up around you like that and really just ring and drag you. But there is this energy where it's like, it's only going to perpetuate if you don't make a decision. So spirit is really trying to get you to get it together. And so that's totally fine because I've been very stubborn before. I have Taurus in my zodiac chart. And so I know how that feels. But you're not alone. Okay, <laughs> make the decision. All right, everybody. <laughs> everybody cracking up in the chat. Get it together. Because spirit has somebody, has somebody here for you that's meant for you, but you're missing your blessing by messing around. So, yeah, you do have a sign if you have to let go of something. Now, for those of you who are single, trying to attract somebody or be in something, there is that energy here, okay? There is this energy where you are getting the sign of, like, someone you feeling like someone is here for you or already you feeling like a soulmate is here or like i don't know like the most romantic relationship that could ever come towards you you're feeling like it's here already and i'm seeing here that like you're 
it's your energy like that um, i want to say that elephant earth energy it's like you're feeling the vibrations you know when elephants they feel a storm coming before it comes like two weeks in advance and they they start migrating and we're like where are those elephants going i mean we we looked it up on the news and we had elephants just migrating and then all of a sudden there was a tsunami that happened so there is this energy where it's like you know that something's coming towards you but you, for some reason you're too stubborn to move it's like you're gonna be the one that's gonna get swept away mm -hmm. so um <laughs> For some of you guys, you need to move. For some of you guys, you're going to stay and you're going to see what you're going to receive. For others of you, you're not. Um, but it's listening to your intuition is here, okay? Your angel number for this reading is 144. I keep seeing it in, rep in, re in repetition during your reading. So with that being said, let's get into the nitty gritty. We pull in the love cards now. So let's see what this angel uh, advice was talking about here, all right? If you believe in your manifestations, they are coming into fruition, especially if you're a single Taurus. I'm getting a lot of single energy. I don't know if the majority of Tauruses right now are single just in the month of April or what, but it's almost like you're about to be listening listening to your intuition about who you're going to be handling in your energy or who you're going to be accepting in your energy because you're not just accepting anybody at this point but that can turn into being closed off too so you got to be careful with that energy okay so that's what i see here all right so we have um sweet marie you've been seeing one for you too i have been seeing it too hey d thank you so much for the festival bling Shout out to the gang for gifting me for real. All right. So this is what I see here. You say your birthday? Oh, for real? You saw it on my read one day? Camera. That's crazy. You said no. <laughs> I'm screaming. You said you said the ex need a clarification. Oh, my God. You said that is true. Oh, so caramel is over here resonating on the YT. I don't know about y'all, but y'all better migrate. <laughs> Anyways, welcome in, you guys. I'm trying to shuffle up and grab a card for Taurus, but it looks like Spirit's not wanting to give, give me anything right now, so we're just going to keep shuffling and catching a vibe. If you guys are new here, please give me a follow at Oracle Game Betty on TikTok and also on the tube of the U, so that way you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. Yeah, for some of you Tauruses, it's safe for you to love elsewhere. Open up and give and receive the highest energy of all elsewhere. Get your saddle and go. That's what Spirit is saying. It seems like your intuition has already been telling you that, so I'm not telling you something that you already don't know that's the crazy thing it's like you came across my live stream and you probably are just getting the double confirmation so now that you have the double confirmation it's time to take action that's what the eclipse was talking about sometimes you got to go into darkness for things to come back to light in your mind in your heart space so with that being said it does seem like you're getting the direct downloads and not only are you getting the direct downloads on your own and from the planetary shifts you're also getting it from my live stream reading so come on Come on, spirit, <laughs> right, Jules? So there is this energy where you are being guided to listen to your intuition, all right? It's not. It's never going to steer you wrong. It will always steer you in the right direction if you just listen and let go of control issues. We have allowed the situation to unfold naturally. Because for some of y'all, y'all just want to be in control of everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm seeing here, you're going to retreat. Yeah, you're going to go into hermit mode. You're going to disconnect from the world. You might disconnect from a relationship. I'm also going to read this a new way for those of you who are in a relationship that you're happy in. It does seem like it is safe for you to love right where you're at. So instead of leaving, it is safe for you to give and receive the highest energy of all. Where I feel like for some of you Tauruses, you wanted to escape the relationship for some reason. Because you felt like, I don't know if you felt like this person was being deceptive. Or you just felt like they got on your nerves or they wasn't your person. But I feel like you guys are trying to listen to your intuition to actually stay because this person actually cares and does things for you that no one else has but for some of my Tauruses y'all want to run away you are the toxic trait so you're the one who wants to kind of leave because you're being treated right you're used to being treated wrong or you're used to not being treated at all not it being dry oh my god why would you be used to that all right so there is this energy where allow this person to give you love and allow yourself to receive love properly okay so that's what i'm seeing here i'm also seeing with the let go of control issues you're going to allow this situation to unfold naturally all right you're going to allow this situation to unfold naturally instead of always being in control maybe you get annoyed with this person who you're with for my tourists who are in a relationship of some sort if you if you guys live together even if you don't live together maybe they do something that like irritates your pet peeves or your irritates your soul and you're like ew why do you do that why do you do that why do you eat with your mouth open or why do you put that why do you put that spoon in the sink why did you put that bowl in the sink without soaking it why did you why you got hair all over the ground Clean up after yourself like you nitpicking and so spirit is saying we need to let go of that tendency because that doesn't come from you that comes from um 
that comes from the, the people who treated you like that. So you have to be gentle with yourself and this person because this person is really doing everything for you. Um, as far as like not everything, but I mean, they're doing a, a lot for you that is not normally what they would do for anybody else. If you ask them, they will tell you that I never did nothing nobody for nobody like this before because I'm so in love with you or I really care about you. You're going to know. You're going to know, Taurus, because I'm talking to y'all. Um, and we have here, you might retreat. You might step away from the world with your person. So with that being said, I read these cards in a new way here. Um, it's time for you to disconnect from the world with your person and really get uh, connected to enjoying the moment, enjoying the present moment fully with your person because it is safer for you to love there. You're just not used to being treated like that. Um, and I also get that you're going to be in the energy of um, being in your person's being in your person's being in your person's space without being on social media. Does that make sense? So you're not going to be posting everything about your person. For a lot of you guys, you're going to be keeping this under wraps because there is this energy where you want to be more in the present moment or you just want to enjoy life more. So you might just be distancing yourself from family members or friends that you felt like they ain't even had no business, no way being in your business to begin with for relationships. All right. So you're noticing certain patterns. Things are coming into light for you a lot, Taurus. So that's what I'm getting for you. And there's a lot of attraction here. You attract the romantic love that you seek by enjoying this moment fully. They want you to enjoy the moment. This is talking about the present moment, what I was just saying before I even knew the card was here. So this is what you are attracting. You're attracting love into your present moment by enjoying the moment, stopping and smelling the roses, stopping to have gratitude for the person who's in your life and things like that. For others of you who are single or who are dealing with somebody who you're trying to get out of a relationship with, it seems like you're going to be attracting new love, but it requires you to stop and Smell what's also an, op an option here for you or a new opportunity here for you to grasp. Because for most of you, you kind of want to be somewhere where the roses don't smell good. The roses really smell like whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't even know if he meant something good or bad by that, but it just sounds bad. Like the roses really smell like whoop, whoop, whoop. They smell like whoop, whoop, de whoop. <laughs> like, what is that? So I don't know what that is, but that's what it's giving. So, um, yeah, that's what I see for my Tauruses. Let's see what else is going on here to close out your reading. And then we'll move on to Libras. We'll move on to Libras. Y'all be laughing, but I really, it's not me. I literally get these messages from Spirit. So, y'all probably think I'm the best, funniest comedian, or you think I'm half funny, or you think I'm a little chuckle or a high kiki. But I literally, I'm telling you what I'm hearing. And I, I say it, in, I guess I express it in a funny way, but... That's literally what they're telling me. Roses really smell like woo woo. Um, we have toil and labor here. Cause I'd be so serious. <laughs> you know I'm being told something because I'd be so serious. Um <laughs> I only laugh because y'all comment. Hello, Goldie Gold. Welcome to the live stream. Um, we have here toil and labor. So yeah, there is somebody trying to work really hard on the connection. For a lot of my Tauruses who are in a connection, this person is working really hard to stay in the connection with you because you acted up, Taurus. You acted up, Taurus. Uh, see, for my Scorpios, they don't have a person yet. For you guys, you have a person and they about to run away because the way you be, dogging them. They're just trying to do everything to make you happy. For some of you guys, it seems like you're working really hard as somebody. You're not really worried about love for my singles, for some of you. But for others of you, you're in a relationship and you, you're just working this person to the bone. You're getting them to learn everything about you like a dog. And then you're like, okay, now go fetch. Go fetch me a thing. Go clean that up. I'm not happy if I'm not fed. <laughs> like, what? Calm down, Taurus. Okay, okay, because this person is concerned. Not for all, but for some. Yeah, this person, this person, I wouldn't say they're in despair, but they're just like exhausted. So ignore this on the bottom and just pay attention to this person. Like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I don't know. Should I be with Taurus? Like, they're really contemplating it. They are concerned because they're just like, I don't know. Like, I love this person, but. So, Taurus, maybe you the toxic one. I don't know what's going on. You got somebody out here scared. Oh, and it's a relationship. I knew it. I knew it. It's the relationship that you're in. It could be a new relationship, an old relationship, but whatever relationship it is, it's a courtship. You're with somebody. 
Um, for some of you guys, I'm going to read this a new way. For my Tauruses that are single, I do get that you could have been concerned a lot about love. You worked really hard on relationships. You were highly disappointed in relationships and you got your heart broken very badly. Or at least that it felt as badly as, you know, you could imagine. And um, you are attracting a new lover here. So this speaks of new love, a courtship coming towards you. So I see that here as well. Yeah, so I am seeing that you have prosperity here in love. It's just going to take a while. It could be within the next four months. Um, it could be within, within the next four weeks or it could be in this month, in April. You could have already met somebody. I could be talking about somebody who you're already talking to. But with that being said, thank you so much, Nisa, for the heart hands. This is going to be your reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for allowing me to tap into your reading and do this love reading for you guys. If this reading is accurate, you can definitely book a personal reading with me and uh, see what else comes out for you. My readings are $25 all the way up until $100. Um, there's three different tiers, so you can pick one that's best for you. It's at oraclegangbetty.com is the only way to book with me. All right, oraclegangbetty.com. You're welcome, Miss Creole. You're welcome, you guys. I appreciate y'all pulling out. Nisa, you feel like somebody is coming soon? I do get that energy from my Tauruses who are single. I feel like y'all feel it coming. And it's going to be a person who treats you really, really well. It's basically the person I was describing that Taurus is with is the type of person that you're getting. And maybe you're going to learn from Taurus's read to not be like that. And then also later on during uh, Taurus's... During... During Taurus's read later on, what I was saying to them, that might be how you're acting when this person comes in for some of my Tauruses who are single, but they get a person. You might actually end up resonating with the read like a year later. I wouldn't be surprised because that's how it works. All of us are kind of on the same timeline, but in different ways, if that makes sense. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's going to sound confusing, but whoever resonated with that. You got Libras in the building, and shout out to the gang. Patiently waiting on your Capricorn reading. Your person is a Taurus, so he's so stagnant. Oh my god! All right, well we're gonna get into the Capricorn at some point. Um, we're gonna move on from Taurus into Libra gang. So what do we have for my Tauruses? What do we have for my Taurus gang, Bannies and Zannies? Oh, I'm sorry, Libras. Not Taurus is trying to take over again. You didn't feel like you got a good read? Not y'all in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you so much, JJ. I haven't seen you in a minute. Thank you for the roses. I appreciate you for the 17. Thank you, Sharon. All right, we're going to get into the Libra read. So where are my Libras at? Drop your scales down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. I'm really excited to get into your energy and see what comes out for you. So we're going to tap into my love romantic deck here. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, I see the heart is definitely resonating. Jewels is resonating and caramel resonating from the last few readings. So let's tap in. Valerie, welcome in. I got Valerie, who is a Libra. And cross-watching with the T is Rochelle. Rochelle. All right, here we go. What do we have for my Libras? You stand for this one? <laughs> Jasmine said, hold up. I'm an OG for real. I'm going to stay for all of them. <laughs> oh! Oh, my God. Um, I don't know what this is talking about, but everything came in reverse, but the entire deck is in the upright. All these cards are upright. And the entire chunk came out reversed. Bottom of the deck is flirt in the upright. Playfulness is in the upright. Oh, jeez. I don't want to have to read this, but I'm going to read it. It's not going to resonate for everybody, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't put the shoe on if it don't fit. Okay, don't be Cinderella stepsisters trying to put your big old foot in a glass slipper that don't fit. If the reading is not yours, don't take it. It's not your read. Just sip your tea. All right, so, child, listen, the way I'm about to read this, oh, this is going to be so long. Okay, I got to shorten this. All right, so we have let go of control issues in the reverse. I'm going to show you all the cards and then we'll get into it. We have very soon clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you now in the reverse. We also have calling in your soulmate in the reverse. We have give your relationship a chance in the reverse. We have unrequited love in the reverse, okay? So I'm going to tap in. You take it how it resonates. Um, I do feel like for some of my Libras, whether you're single or in a relationship, you could resonate with it. I'm not going to make it specific to certain people just yet. It might come later on. But um, any any type of Libra in any type of romantic situation, there is this energy where I do feel like you have let go and you've gone with the flow. However, however, 
you were able to make a decision on someone who is not your soulmate. You're not calling in a soulmate, really. You're calling in other people who kind of are a reflection of yourself again. So it's almost giving me like you're back in a karmic cycle for some of you. Um, I'm going to read it a second way. Give me a second. But this is the first way. There is this energy where I do feel like there's a lack of somebody giving the giving the relationship a chance. And the reason why you energetically feel like you can't give the relationship a chance or you feel like somebody else isn't giving the relationship a chance is because it's not your soulmate, even though they look like the cookie cutter shape and they sound like and they feel like the cookie cutter shape of your soulmate. It's not. It's a soulmate disguised as a soulmate. It's a soul, it's a stalemate, excuse me. It's a stalemate disguised as a soulmate. That's what I'm getting. Um, so you won't realize that until this plays out. For some of you, it did. Um, yeah, and I don't know who this person is. Like I said, if you're single, you're single. If you're in a relationship, you're in a relationship. If it's a past person, somebody, people, some, some people are saying it's an ex, you're going to know. Um, so I do get unrequited love in the reverse. This is a person who... <clears throat> I want to say that they they were unrequited of the past or they were unrequited, whether they were with you or not in the past, they were unrequited version of themselves in the past. They came to you, whether they know you or not, of the past. They came to you like they was put together. However, they still were dealing with unrequited old ways or old versions of themselves in the past. This is why they're a stalemate, not a soulmate. They're supposed to be a soulmate, but they're stale. They're getting stale like sitting cereal you think it's a good box of cereal and you had it for a while you never opened it up and just because it's sealed doesn't mean it's good it's actually stale when you open it you're like dang i gotta throw out these lucky charms again like i never opened them i forgot they were up on the top of the fridge and you throw away a whole box that's what it's giving it looks good on the outside but on the inside them jaws is stale okay so that's what it's giving now i'm gonna read this a second way okay not my lucky charms, period. Um, so there is this energy where I see there's another situation here. So with this Libra situation, I do see that you guys let go of control issues. You made a clear decision. I do feel like you were struggling with this the last two, three live stream reads I did for you. You were struggling to make a decision. You finally made a decision. You made a decision on somebody who is in and around your energy. They are a soulmate. They are a soulmate. You didn't have to call them in. They just kind of like, boop in your lap and you're like oh my god who does he is i think they're my soulmate the problem is you're not ready to give the relationship a chance and the reason why you're not ready to give the relationship a chance is because you're in the energy of this false energy you dealt with unrequited love of the past so you're afraid that this is unrequited love in the present so then you're not going to give your 100 percent. you're just going to breadcrumb this person and so then this person might possibly breadcrumb you in return because they think that you're playing games so then there's tit for tat there's petty for petty there's oh my god i don't know what to do uh and and two people freeze and then they both are guilty of playing games the reason why i say this is because of what's underneath this deck i read it before we got into the explanations we have flirt and we have playfulness. It's giving player energy. Libra, some of it is you, but also some of it is this person vibrating off of what the, what the energy that you're giving off is. I don't know if you're playing hard to get. I don't know if you're scared of a commitment. I don't know what it is. But somebody here, it's either you or them, isn't ready to give the relationship a chance, even though you guys are each other's soulmates and even though you're going with the flow. It's like you're going with the flow of the connection, but you're also not really putting forth effort. You're just like, you're letting the person do all the work. And so this person is going to feel like this is unrequited. I'm telling you, that's literally what it's going to feel like. It's going to start to turn into a codependent, flirtatious, whatever thing instead of a forever thing like it should have been. But the fact is that two people can't see that. And I don't know what's blocking it. I don't know if you have like weird energy around you or you just fixated on the past but there's something here where libras you're being guided to open up with that being said let's get some more um let's get some more messages all right let's get some more messages with that being said um i do get for oh wait hold on because i forgot to read for singles i do get for my singles you are definitely in the dating pool or the dating scene being very flirtatious 
and very playful. I do feel like you're meeting a lot of people who could be younger than your age or look younger than their age. So maybe they're older in age, but they look younger than their age. They also act younger than their age. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but it's showing me that they're willing to keep up with whatever Libra got going on. All right, so there is that energy here in the dating scene. That's kind of what you're doing is staying optimistic about your love life by keeping everything light and airy like a Libra air sign and not getting too invested with feelings, being more social social and surface level rather than on a deep level because you're just not ready yet, which is totally fine. I see the children card here, which is telling me that immature energy is coming through. It's that youthful energy. Your life is being affected by children. Maybe this person has kids or you have kids. That could be double confirmation for the read. This is for singles. Um, we also have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You're being guided to free your minds. Uh, from like a feeling of only wanting surface level because you're afraid of love. That's just how that I'm just gonna say it flat out. That's literally what's happening here. So um, spirit is saying we need to revisit that. Where is that stemming from? Because it's 2024. That's what spirit said. I'm just a telephone, specifically a rotary phone. I had this conversation with my career reading gang earlier today. I'm a rotary phone. I'm one of them cute ones that go and it goes back and it has the cord. <laughs> Those are so cute. I always wanted one just for like a little, if you guys know, you know, I know some people don't know what that is. Anyways, I love them phones. <laughs> if I was going to be a telephone, I'm going to be that one. It was between that one or the clear one where you could see through it and it has like all those wires, like the cool one. And they like clamp, they're like a pocket that clamps and it's like this long. You know what I'm talking about. It's one of them. That's a classic, bro. Those phones were so cool. Like I kind of got like disappointed when we got cell phones because I was like, well, what do we do with the house phones? I got real sad for a second. I had like a quarter life crisis at one point. Um, we have no need to worry is here. There's no need to worry. For those of you Libras who I was literally saying, you're with a person who is really trying to give to you, so allow yourself to receive, but you think it's unrequited, but it's really not unrequited because we get the unrequited card in reverse. You're not giving the relationship a chance for some of my Libras because of this. There's no need to worry, but you worry. So Spirit said we got to look into this. For some of you, um, you're single Libras and you're worried because of the dating scene because you've done it, you did it before, you ran that rodeo, you went around that block. You're not trying to do that again. You're trying to get to the suburbs. You're not trying to be in the ghetto with these street cats and things that you don't want in your relationship. You don't you want commitment. You don't want somebody who's for the streets. You want somebody who's for commitment. And so I do feel like there's this energy here where you like, dang, I really need something that, you know, has substance, but you're too afraid, kind of. There's kind of a fear there. Um, but there's no need to worry. So if that if that eases your mind and that frees your mind up a little bit, I'd say go into it. Obviously using your discernment, but go into it with an open heart because that's what you need, Libra. And I feel like you struggle in that heart space. Um, <laughs> JP said, hold up the streets, be calling them. <laughs> um, <laughs> y'all are so funny. I love y'all in the chat. Thank you so much for keeping it live and lit and real and raw in the building. All right, bottom of the deck is a yes. Okay, yes, you're gonna have to make a clear decision. Yes, the full moon eclipse and the new moon eclipse crossed each other's path for you, Libra. So there is this energy where you are affected by the energy of the eclipse. I do feel like that you were affected by the energy of the eclipse. So that's what I see here. You could have been a high emotional time right now pertaining to love and romance. You could have been um, experiencing very, very like high emotions or something like that. Your emotions were heightened at this time. So things were bubbling up to the surface. I'm going to say that for Libra. I would say that it's safe to say that things were bubbling up to the surface for you. You clearly decided you said yes to certain things that maybe made you single and or maybe allowed you to continue a relationship that you're in that you like or that you're in that you don't like. But there's something here where Spirit is saying don't stop. So for those of you who are making clear decisions for yourself, 
post this read, after this read, I do feel like um, those are going to be the more better decisions for you. Um, not saying that I can tell you what to do, but I'm just saying like, if you're influenced by this and this is resonating, this is your confirmation. All right. We have meditation brings answers. So I do feel like if you meditate, contemplate, if you stay prayed up, strapped up, all senses of the word, then I do feel like the answers will come to you. The answers that you need are coming. And I do feel like this is part of one, one of them. I do feel like you get, um, I do feel like you get what I'm saying with both scenarios here that I was tapped into. Um, with that being said, hmm, do y'all want to know the hidden truth or do y'all want me to pull these cards? Hidden truth or black? Just type black in the chat if you want the black deck. Oh, oh my gosh, that kind of sounded vulgar. I didn't mean to say it like that. The black D-E-C-K to clarify or hidden. Somebody said both. <laughs> Child, you got something both. What y'all, what y'all voting on? We got our boats up. You said both. Not that was not one of the options, you guys. All right, listen. We're gonna do y'all want the black deck or deck or hidden truth. D-E-C-K. Do you want the black? D-E-C-K. <laughs> Let the quads speak. <laughs> I'm not y'all saying the quads. <laughs> I'm waiting till we get an actual vote. It feels like it's half and half. And I'm not doing both. Y'all doing too much. Cancer and Leo and Gemini and Pisces and Aquarius and Capricorn and Sagittarius and Virgo are mad at y'all because I take it too long. Because that's what y'all do. Y'all take too long to make a decision. <laughs> the Black D. <laughs> oh, I can't. Not y'all just accommodating the Black D. All right. What is my YouTube saying? Oh, you, you guys are going with the Black Oracle card. <laughs> the Black D. <laughs> <laughs> ah, y'all are funny. All right, I got a good laugh. All right, here we go. What do we have for the Libra reading from the Black D? <laughs> y'all are nasty. I don't know why you want this to me. <laughs> the entire read, the entire read resonated, McBelly. Child, and she said she's both. <laughs> So we have high honors here. We have victory after the battle. So it does seem like you will be receiving some good news, which is why there's no need to worry. So if you're single and you're ready to mingle and you're getting out of that mingling phase and stage to go towards more committed love, you're shooting your shot in the right direction. So Spirit is saying, if you more a little bit more serious and vulnerable or open with your heart space, you will find your person or your person will find you technically because we attract, we don't chase. Um, but with that being said, I see this here. I also see um, that with this high honors, this um, there's no need to worry and uh, victory after the battle. It's telling me that if you walk away from a situation or a thing that you don't want to be in, it's okay. You're going to have something in the near future. Um, I don't get that it's going to be right away. To be quite honest, I think it's pretty much far out there because there's something that Libra has to do in their heart space to get their energy back to center to be in alignment to attract their person but it doesn't go to say that you're not going to be successful in other areas of your life i do feel like your money is going to be nice so that is a plus um what else oh and for the scenario with you guys who are already in a relationship was it you who was already in a relationship i feel like it was you who's already in a relationship or you're about to be in a relationship, but you just think it's unrequited or it's not going to work out or something. Child, there's no need to worry. It's going to work out. Oh, my God. Anyways, I can't remember what scenarios I was channeling from earlier because we, we took too long to pick an orc card deck. But anyways, you also have a gift in the present moment. So it's saying that you have something very successful. You also have a love offer for those of you who have one coming towards you. For some of you, you already have your love offer, Libra, and you're about to ruin it. It's stable. We have stability without the house card here. Somebody could want to live with you. For some of you, you live with this person right now. And you, you're like, yeah, I don't know about this. I want to leave. What? Why? And my card is falling apart. Y'all energy got my cards breaking. 
breaking down. For what? Child, I'm getting out of Libra's energy. I'm starting to yell at y'all now, and it's not even me. It's spirit. So I'm just going to get out of y'all energy. Let's get into Cancer's energy. What, what, what do we have for my Krabby Krabs in the building? Shout out to my Krabby Krabs. Shout out to my Krabby Krabs in the building. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, shout out to my crabs. <laughs> so we're going to get into the Cancer Read. Thank you so much, Libra, for allowing me to tap into your energy. I read it as much as I could read. Fulfills. So you do what you want with the information that you receive. And um, if you like this reading, you can book a personal reading with me at oraclegangbanny.com. Oraclegangbanny.com is the only way to book a personal reading with me. Make sure you are following me here on both platforms, TikTok and the Tube of the U. So that way you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. But with that being said, we're going to tap into... Cancer, Cancer, Bo Bancer, Banana, Fanta, Bo Bancer. Um, Chef Lulu, thank you so much for the rose. You sent me your first gift. Thank you, honey. She's a new OG up in the building. That's right. And shout out to the gang. Am I on the FYP? Ooh, she on the FYP. If we're not, we need to get me out of here. We need to get me out of here. Thank you, Tuxin. I appreciate the dummy bears. You're making me hungry, though, honey. Um, <laughs> we got 38 shares. Ooh, and we got 83.2k likes. I did say my goal was like 100k likes. So if y'all can make that happen with 100 shares, that's gonna be fire. Okay, that's gonna be everything I ever asked for. I only wish for these things on the live stream. Um, but I appreciate you guys for pulling up. Like I said, I'm a silly person. If you like the vibes, you like it. If it's not your cup of tea, go elsewhere. You ain't hurt my feelings. You really not. My feelings have been hurt my entire life, guys. <laughs> I was the most black sheep, the Lulu lunatic psychic child ever so at this point nothing can hurt my feelings <laughs> nothing you hear me i got thick skin <laughs> but it's the facts it's the facts though all right with that being said let's tap into cancer yeah this is how i feel like y'all sound coming into my room <laughs> it's the crabby crabs in the building the crabby crabs all right. <laughs> Shout out to the gang. All right. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> that was such an ASMR moment. <laughs> if I could give y'all a sound, I swear to goodness, that's how y'all sound coming into my live stream. I know that's right. Crab crabs are up in the bed and for sure. All right. And don't play with them because you get, you get snatched up by a claw out here with these cancers. My mom's a cancer. I know. She snatched me up in a quickness. Anyways, let's get into it. If you're wondering what I'm eating on the side, I'm eating a bowl of grapes. <laughs> you love when I do that? Lori's like, I love the ASMR. <laughs> Welcome in, you guys. Y'all yeah, said, wait, the whole YouTube got a live stream chat update? I don't know, did it? Girl, I don't know. I don't be doing the updates. You got an update? What's the update? Hey, pies and boards and books. Welcome in, Goldie Gold, Nancy Cologne. We got Desiree Elrod up in the building. Thank you so much for sharing the live stream, Desiree. I appreciate that. You guys, share up that live stream. I'm trying to get to 100 shares and also 100K likes, okay? So pull up around me, okay? Show me that love on the tickety tock. And also on the YT, too. They have their own stuff, too. I know you guys on the on the, on the the tube of the U, I know we don't have, like, the, um, the gifts and stuff, like the roses and stuff like that, like we have on TikTok. So if you're on the tube of the U, you can send me... Um, super chats so you can send me the amount of money you will probably spend on a gift so you can send me the 99 cents or the 199 or whatever that is you can do that if you want um it's it's available on the on the lower left of the screen with the i think it's the money sign or the smiley face i don't know what that is there i'm new to the to the tube of the you stuff so i'm just letting y'all know what's accessible there if y'all want to show love um we have finances and career your financial issues are a factor in your love life what what is this? Okay, um, Cancer, you deserve love. You are lovable as you should, okay? We have very soon clear to decide what it is. That, oh, <gasps> Cancer. Nuh-uh. 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 Uh, 
I'm getting two messages for cancer. All right, so I just had to get quiet to hear what my spirit guides are telling me about these um, cards and what I'm feeling in my intuition. I do get that for, uh, th and this is going to be one or the other. Like I said, if the shoe fits, it's yours. If it's not, don't make it fit if it's not yours. Um, but there is this energy where, oh, thank you so much, Shayla, for the 149. Shout out to the gang. I got a banana. Um, there is this energy where finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? I'm getting multiple messages from this one card. I could channel this forever, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I ain't going to hold you because I know all the other signs are waiting. But when we get to cancer, listen, this is what we have for you, okay? So finances and career, it's giving me that you are with somebody or you yourself, if you're single, somebody here is worried about their finances, picking up the last pieces of like, what am I going to do next? things like that. You could be focused on your career right now. You're not really focused on love. For some of you guys, you went into hermit mode. You went into crabby crab mode. Okay. So I do see here that you do deserve love and you are attracting a person who could be the one, but you don't see it. So very soon you're going to have to clearly decide, do you want to focus on career or focus on love? Because you can't have both at the same time, the way you are about to be focused on your career. Does that make sense? So it's like, it's giving me that you're focused on your career in a, in a way where you don't have room for love. You don't even see the love coming, but when the love does come, you're going to have to choose one or the other. It's like you can't have both because each of them require extra time and attention. And so you have to figure out what it is that you really want cancer because it's temporary. But also, I do need to say that the other person needs to be understanding and understanding that very soon they might have to clearly decide what they want, okay? Do they want a bit a very busy boss like cancer energy beady or zady up in the building or do they want just somebody who's going to be easy because if they want somebody who's going to be easy you can go over there. But somebody who definitely has their stuff together or is working to get their stuff together and build an empire, they can either go get get on the bandwagon with you. Okay, and build with you, grab, you know, roll up the sleeves, start making some concrete so we can build this empire and so we can live a life together. Or, you know, it's, it, you know, what you doing? Like, if you're not landscaping, if you're not building something with concrete, then what you doing here? Because you're, you're wasting my time. So that's what I see here. Cancer's about to snap. Um, so there is that energy. Very soon, there's going to have to be a decision at some point. I don't know if it's going to be yours. I feel like it's going to be yours, but it could very much be your person as well involved, whoever is the one. Now, whoever is the one is definitely going to give you some type of attention and time. So I do see this here. Um, they're going to give you some type of attention and time where they'll stick around while you're working on your finances and career. I do feel like if it's the other way around, Cancer, if it's not you who's worried about your finances and career, your money is good, your title at work is tight, you know, you got things going on for you, you have accolades, then this is telling me that you are picking up the pieces from another relationship emotionally so to speak and not really abundantly so the lack of abundance and emotion and things like that you feel low you feel like recently you felt low or this could have bubbled up to the surface during those eclipse or full moons but i am seeing here that you do deserve love elsewhere if you want it there is somebody who it, who you are attracting who could be the one they're going to be super passionate with you i wouldn't be surprised if they're a fire sign a water sign yeah, I'm getting like a fire sign, a water sign, or an earth sign. Um, but I want to say I'm being particular about the signs. So it's either going to be um, the person who's going to be very passionate with you is going to be a Leo, a Sagittarius, if they're a fire sign for some of my ca cancers. Um, if they're a fellow water sign, they're going to be a Pisces or a Cancer in particular, your same sign or a Pisces. If they are... Um, if they are an earth sign, I do get that they're going to be a Virgo or a Capricorn. No, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Spirit gave me all three, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But I got to say something. Um, there's somebody here in the Cancer Collective that's dealing with a, with an earth sign in particular who is picking up the pieces because they feel like they deserve um, new love and they want to get away from somebody who they see as the one. But the, this person doesn't see them as the one. So for some of my cancers, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't see you as the one. So then I got another message, like randomly. 
But anyways, going back to what I was saying, I was saying that the cancer is you're picking up the pieces emotionally from a past relationship that you were disappointed in to be deserving of love elsewhere. The person that you are attracting could be a fire sign, water sign, or earth sign. This person could be the one and very soon you're going to have to clearly decide, do you want to be in another commitment after getting out of one? Because it seems like it comes rushing in. You see these waters right here? In the background those are rushing waters those aren't calm waters or waters that are making a pretty little waterfall that has like a cute little trickle in the back no this is rushing waters this is like white water rapids okay so i don't know who's going white water rafting or something like that or maybe you have of the past or maybe you went with this person maybe you know who i'm talking about but whoever it is this person seems like they're the one for some of you you're already with this person you know that they're the one, so you guys like to do excursions and outdoor things together. You guys like being outdoors, specifically cancer. You like being around water or you like going to the beach a lot. Something like water or tropical bays. Um, you like taking flights and catching feelings. Ooh. So that's what I see here. Or that's what you're manifesting. For some of you, you don't have that yet, but that's what you want. You're manifesting that in a person. Catching flights and feelings. Ooh, vacations all day, every day. No work, all play. That's what it's giving. Um, I'm also seeing here, going back to that unrequited relationship, there's a relationship here that someone is breadcrumbing you with what they're like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Get that energy. Get that energy out of here. Because what I'm about to say, absolutely not. Absolutely not. What I'm about to say, and I'm sorry I gotta be hyped, but I gotta I gotta do that because I gotta get that spirit out of here. It was low vibrational as I don't know what. Thank you, Holly Shay. I appreciate you. <laughs> it had to go because there's some energy I'm about to say. <laughs> I know y'all laughing, but I was serious. Listen. <laughs> Lori, stop because you're making me laugh. Get it going. Listen, what I'm about to say may trigger some people. So trigger warning, flush out. Um, financial issues are a factor in your love life. This finances and careers talking about somebody breadcrumbing my cancer collective. It's somebody in the collective. It's not going to be all. So don't take it if, it if it's not yours. This is a specific message. For some of my cancers, you're being breadcrumbed by somebody who is love bombing you, buying you things. And then you're like, it's almost like your energy comes off like this. This is not what you physically do. You don't pick it up off the ground. They don't just put it down on the ground like porridge for a poor person in the Renaissance. They don't do that. But I'm saying like that's how your energy is. You're just picking up what they're giving you. It's like they're giving you something that you benefit off of. And you're like, well, if I benefit off this, I guess it's a good relationship. I'll just stay here. No, 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 no. This person is manipulating you through gift giving through love bombing, through narcissism, tactics. Sorry, I got so hyped. I, I don't like when people take advantage of people like that. That gets me so freaking hyped because that's so messed up. Anyways, back to the read. So then we have, um, you deserve love elsewhere because of that. So that's what we have here. So whatever it is that you're compromising, your self-worth, to be in a relationship because somebody is giving you things, materialistic things, I don't care if they're buying you Prada or Nada. Get out. It's giving Jordan Peele, get out. You remember that movie? Jordan Peele, get out, where she's like going like this with the T. And then she's like, she goes like this and she goes sink. It's almost like y'all cancers, I don't know where the rest of your body or your mind is, but y'all sunk into this relationship that you know you're not supposed to be in. You know it's not there. You know it ain't it. But you're Delulu, you're hypnotized. Is somebody here? I need to tell you that so you can wake up. Mm -hmm. This is your double confirmation. I'm going to be your bestie. If no one's going to be your bestie to tell you what the F is up, I'm going to be your bestie. And that's what it is. You can be triggered. You can hate me. You can get off this live stream. I love you though. And I want you, I want you to have better. So with that being said, this is what I'm seeing here for that. Um, now, if you do leave this connection, I do have to say, yes, you deserve love elsewhere. And guess where you're going to shoot your shot? You're going to shoot your shot right over here with a person who is your one. Mm -hmm. And you're going to very soon clearly decide, are you ready for a new relationship? So it's funny because you leave something that was breadcrumbing you or that you were benefiting off of materialistically or whatever, whatever. And you were allowing that to continue. But it comes 
come to find out you do deserve love elsewhere. You didn't think you had love or maybe you thought it was too late to have love, but you keep an open mind. So we have keep an open mind. Your soul may be different from your usual type and expectations. You do attract somebody who is definitely different from your usual type and expectations or from the person who you have history with or the person who you're short term with. Okay, so very soon you're about to clearly decide. I feel like you're about to clearly decide. Do you want new love or do you want to stay here in this unrequited love situation, this breadcrumbing situation? For some of my cancers, y'all about to y'all about to tap in. For real. And shout out to the gang. I love my cancer gang. All right. So let's say. I know I got a little real in the chat, but we're wiping the slate clean. All right, let's get into the angel advice here. Let's get to angel advice. Mm. For some of you, you already left this person, this past person for some of my cancers, and this person is coming back around. It's like it's like they, they come back through text messages or something, and they just like swoon you again. I don't know what it is. It's like it's giving Jordan Peele's get out. Is giving Jordan Peele's get out. That's all I gotta say. So if you've never seen that movie, get out. <laughs> all right, so here we go. What do we have for my cancer? Yeah, you need to trust in divine divine guidance, okay? You need to trust in whatever your, your belief system is. You need to trust in God's source, creator, Jesus, Buddha, whatever you believe in, that you have love elsewhere if you can get yourself out of a situationship that is not for you and you know it's not for you for some of you guys cancer you're emotionally attached and you're holding on to something that has already been expired the season's over there's no need to worry about your future you are going to have love elsewhere and you have success i told you you are going to have love else love elsewhere look at the card on the other side there's no need to worry you have success elsewhere if you want it but it all depends on you and it all depends on your trust and faith in your divine source creator and your own higher self and anything else that you believe in of love and life that's guiding you in this lifetime so with that being said this is going to be the cancer reading i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope y'all got all the tea and nothing but the tea mm -hmm. <laughs> anyways thank you guys for following me and for liking the live stream, I appreciate y'all for pulling up around me and for being consistent. If you guys are new here, please give me a follow at Oracle Game Baddie on TikTok and also the other account here, YT, the tube of the U. We are double live streaming. We're live over there right now. So if you want to rewatch your reading or scrub back to another reading that we already completed, you can go back and watch Cancers right now, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, or Aries, okay? So you can scrub back the video, rewind that video, and replay it as many times as you want. Give it all the views run it up thank you so much for the shares you guys run up those shares to the 48 shares to those 100 shares please i'm trying to get 100 shares today um thank you so much dreamer ah, she sent me my my slippers <laughs> she sent me my slippers i'm so excited thank you so much i appreciate you dreamer thank you for those crystal shoes i'm feeling like cinderella over here mm -hmm. i'm feeling like cinderella italia capone <laughs> <laughs> part of my gang um my gang gang is coming in you said that went fast what went fast the cancer reading no we was on that for a minute anyway um y'all can book a personal reading with me at oraclegangbetty.com if you would like to Ooh, Sayla, you, you are on our Monday night. Yes, thank you for joining the Monday night subscribers on the YT. Thank you for being a member on the YT. Oh my God, I love this. I love that you're in here. Yes, she's an OG. She's official now. You guys, I have that membership subscription on my, my tube of the U for $9.99. You can get 10 minute personal reading every Monday night. If you want something a little bit more affordable than that, then tap right here on TikTok. And become a subscriber. Tap that star on the bottom left of the screen on my TikTok for my TikTok viewers. You can become a $2.99 gang member. And you can get a five-minute personal reading every Saturday. So pull up on me. All right? I only take the first 50 people in the room. So make sure you pull up. You drop your name in the chat on a Saturday morning. And we tap in. Okay? My schedule is on my profile. So check it out. All right? But that's available to you guys, okay? One's $2.99, that one's on the TikTok. The other one's $9.99, and it's for a 10-minute reading, and that one's on the YT, the tube of the U. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're tapping into Leo's. Where are my Leo gang daddies and daddies up in the building? Thank you so much for coming up around me and for being consistent as I'm trying to be consistent with you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. 
All right, let's tap in. Drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. All my lions and lionesses, leave your lion manes down in the chat. Leave your lion manes down in the chat right now. Mm -hmm. We're about to find out what's going on in love for you. Mm. You know what I just heard going into your reading? It's lyrics to a song. What is that song? I'm trying to think of it. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you for the high bears. I appreciate you. Welcome in. Thank you, Rago. Welcome in, Chrissy from the TikTok. Hey, Margaret. Welcome in, Margaret. Hey, we got La, La Tarika. We got Blessed Mom up in the building, who's also in Leo. We got Suzuki. We got Hannah Montana. We also got Diamond. We got Damani. We got Stacy. We got Vera Wang in the building. She was in here earlier. Um, Vera Wang was in for the uh, career readings. I do career readings during the day on Tuesdays as well as on Thursdays. They're the same days that I do the uh, love readings. So I'm here live streaming on both platforms, Tuesdays and Thursdays only for the Zodiac sign readings. Just in case y'all was wondering. Janae, welcome in, Ballin. Welcome in, just who is that? Joshua? Annie, thank you so much. I appreciate you aspiring. Thank you for the high bear. Let's tap in. Let's see what's going on with my Leo gang gang in the building. What do we have for my Leos in love and romance for those singles or in a relationship? What do we have for my Leos? My lions and lionesses. Oh, Leos. Are you in limbo? Thinking about somebody? We are not at the roller, roller skating club. Um, somebody is running through your mind or you're running through somebody else's mind because that's how you could take it you can be on the other foot on this one so this is what i'm seeing here jessica thank you so much for the ice cream and the heart puff and the rose Ooh, that's a good combo it looks cute on my screen keep it coming um we have the thoughts here what is that song i was just channeling i channeled this song going into your reading what was it thank you robin i appreciate you hm um Love, da, da, da. so many people mm, I'm telling you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. This is when my numbers drop. My viewers are going to drop because I'm not a singer. But like I said, I do karaoke night here and there, so don't judge me. Music Soul Child, yes! That is your theme song for the read. Y'all know how you be looking out for like numbers, like angel numbers for your reading? That's the theme song for your reading, Leo's. Somebody is thinking about you in this way or that you're thinking about them. Take it how it resonates. Somebody, it could be someone in the present moment or the past. Mm -hmm. If it's a somebody else and it's not you, it's the present moment or the past. Somebody love you, okay? Mm? Reminiscing. Trying to flex. All right, so we have sudden wealth here. We have 11. Um, you could have been seeing 11, 11 a lot. 7, 7, 7 as well. I'm getting that it's a very lucky time for you to start new beginnings. So if you want to start new beginnings, you're more than welcome to. Um, I know a lot of people don't normally start new beginnings during Mercury retrograde, but it looks like you're going to be very lucky this weekend. So going into that Saturn conjunct Uranus um, planetary shift that's going on, I would say a lucky time right now is Saturday and, Saturday and Sunday. If you want to shoot your shot in a relationship, then do that. If you want to uh, shoot your shot to, towards the lotto, then do that. But there is this energy where I do see um, anything that that's on your mind. It seems like it has to do a lot with the abundance of a relationship or abundance of money. For a lot of you, Leos, you could be focused on your money, your career, your finances. But you're also um, in the same token. Uh, someone is someone is thinking about you and having abundance with you. Not necessarily coin in the abundant way, but more in the heart space way of abundance. So, yeah, I told you it's the main person. So we have a uh, main person energy. I don't read genders. I just read energies on the card because I have so many genders on these cards. I just don't read them. Um, but yeah, there's there's the energy of you're thinking about this person or this person is thinking about you. But there's people here thinking about each other and the abundance between the two. So somebody whose main character energy or if your main character energy, somebody is asking to come back. And also the combination of this is definitely that 11 with the one. So you could have been particularly seeing one, one, one. Oh my God, I'm seeing it right now. Look at, look at, look at, hurry up, everybody look. Oh, changed. All right, so it was one, one, one point nine. 
k likes in the room as i was saying that and i was holding up the 11 with the one so there is this energy of the one 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 there's only three ones so if you've been seeing that a lot lately this is double confirmation that there's probably a message in this reading for you but also is double confirmation that you have new love coming towards you or you're going towards new love if you are the one who's the pursuer or the pursuee okay so that's what i'm seeing here um as far as the things that are going to be playing out within the, the next one to six weeks i get that it's going to be very soon okay so in seven weeks you will see a lot happening in leo's energy as far as love and relationships i don't care if you know a leo i don't care if you are a leo i don't care if the person you're dating is a leo there's going to be something here that is a new beginning to either their career and the finances or in love and relationships okay i'm getting both in your reading with this slot machine okay um that's the first thing that i'm getting second thing that i am getting is that if this is a past person thinking about you they want to offer you a cup of love okay it does seem like they want to work on the connection with the occupation card here because something in the past that you guys shared could have been that sex or something in the past that y'all shared could have been a toxic trait so take it out resonates maybe the toxic trait was the sheet you little nasty but there is this energy of that so that's what i'm seeing here i'm seeing that somebody want to work on the mm -hmm, with you but also the relationship so they can't get off their mind uh, they can't you got me you got me stuttering and tripping they can't get they they about to stutter and trip coming towards you um they can't get you off their mind they just can't they just can't they can't get you off their mind all right so that's what i'm seeing here I love this energy for you. <laughs> I'm screaming. Um, but yeah, I love this energy for you. This is great. Now, with that being said, I want to see what the advice is to those of you who have a past person thinking about you. Because I don't know if you want get to get back with this past person. I don't even know if this person's going to come towards you and have the cojones to. But they might. They just might. I don't know. I'm doing Leo, yes. If you guys have missed Leo, you can pull up Aomi on the tube of you. You can pull up Aomi. Ah, I told you. So I said seven weeks, right? Two months. So it says within the next few months, you have relationship success. And it's definitely worth the wait. We have meditation brings answers. If you believe, we keep getting these cards coming out back to back and they literally fall out of the in, the in between of the deck. So it's telling me here that you definitely manifested something um, or someone has manifested you back into their life and it's becoming successful within the next few months. They might come towards you. But I do feel like Leo's, whether you're in a relationship or single, there is some type of success worth waiting for here. Um, for some of you, I don't see that you're in an unrequited relationship. So I'm not seeing somebody who's dealing with somebody who is trash or anything like that. Um, I get that for most of you, you're in a good connection or you're walking away from a trash connection to attract a good connection. So maybe some of you guys already left that or in the midst of leaving, but it seems like you're going to have success. All right. Um, I do, I do feel like see on the bottom of the deck, it says forgiveness. Yeah. This past person wants to forgive wants to ask for forgiveness or they want to um what did they leave you they didn't leave my leos not somebody leaving a leo ah, who didn't get you and i oh the key is let's see we're gonna see what the hidden truth is to this leo gang we're gonna see what the hidden truth is. Thank you for joining in the live stream, you guys. If you are new here, please give me a follow at Oracle Game Betty for all your Zodiac needs, for all the Zodiac reads. I do have a lot of impersonators here on the TikTok, so use your discernment. That way you don't get bamboozled. I never follow you guys back, so that's how you're going to know if it's a fake account. Um, so we have here, I wonder if you are happy without me. A moment of silence for this person coming back. That's what they want to say. They waited all this time to come back, and that's what they wanted to say. I'm screaming. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Oh my God, we just got that energy. Look, sleepless nights. They stay awake thinking about you because they can't stop thinking about that mm-hmm and the mm-hmm with the mm-hmm with you. They're not thinking about you like, oh, I miss you. They're thinking about you because of the mm-hmm with the mm-hmm and the mm-hmm. You already know. I already told you. Um, so yeah, they want to work on the connection because of this. They want to offer their cup of love. Mm-hmm. Their cup of love. <laughs> I don't know. You can think of how it resonates. For some of you guys, you want this person. 
back. Um, it says you came closer than anyone. They they are honest about this part. I do want to say they are honest about that part. You did come closer to anyone else that they've met out in these streets. So if they were the first one who left, or if they were the ones who wanted to be wanted to be stubborn or whatever, egotistical, prideful or whatever, or maybe you were the one egotistical, prideful, whatever. They realize that um, they're not happy without you. They wonder if you're happy without them, and they definitely stay awake thinking about the passionate exercise <clears throat> that y'all had together and they also um are realizing that there's no one else out there like you leo so mm, it's giving uh, we're learning lessons now so um with that being said this is going to be your reading um i'm going to get into more of the singles energy here in a hot second because i feel like you guys are attracting this main male and i want to clarify who this main male is really quick before we exit the leo read OGB said exercise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. The ex is coming back. The exes are always coming out the woodwork. Do you not know we're in Mercury Retrograde, guys, until April 25th? Don't be surprised. It'll be the person that you don't forgot about. Mm -hmm. Love. <laughs> it's giving music soul child. This person could do music or that you could do, you could do music. So this person, when they come back, Maybe that's what serenaded them or that you were serenaded by. I do feel like you have a decision to make. I mean, if you want to be with this person, you can. But within the next few few months, you do have success in love if you do go in a new direction. Because we keep seeing one on one. So there is a new beginning here for you elsewhere. There is a main character energy entering your life. But you're going to have to decide between old or new. For some of you guys, you want this person back. So maybe, maybe this person does get it together. Get it together. And it works out. I can't tell you what you're going to do. I can only just give you the messages of what somebody is going to do. So you could be forewarned. So we have uh, playfulness here. So I do feel like uh, somebody was a player type energy, a flirt type energy, or maybe they saw you as this, Leo. So it was either you or them. This is why the connection ended. Um, I do get that there was a good, solid friendship between you two. I do feel like with the solid friendship that you guys share. Thank you for the hot hard puff, Jay. Um, I do feel like with this solid friendship that you guys shared, you also had either A, mutual friends, or B, you went to your friends for advice on this connection before you guys ended things. And it seems like your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So you might ask your friends, should you get back with the past person if they do come back towards you? Your friends are going to be like, whatever they're going to say. And then you might just go and have an ascension with this person or you might actually go towards new love towards whoever this main male is it does seem like this main person is going to be um a good solid foundation of a friendship first before it turns into an engagement of energies if you know what i mean so um before you guys open up vulnerability, open up other parts of yourself and things like that. I do feel like there's somebody here who's thinking about coming towards you. For some of you Leos, you're going to be surprised. Somebody's going to slide into your DMs and they actually have a crush on you. I got a crush on you. That's what it's giving. So yeah, somebody is going to slide in the DMs and, and confess their feelings or their emotions or that they miss you or that they wish they, they would have chose you instead of choosing the person that they chose. Something like that. And they could have already done this. A lot of the stuff I'm saying could have already happened. For others of you, it has yet to happen. So just wait. Within the next few months, you're going to see what I'm talking about. I did say uh, seven weeks. So that, that gives me the rest of this of, that gives me the rest of this uh, month into the next month. So what is that, June? By Gemini season, I guess. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised. All right, so this is what it's giving, Leo. It's not going to be for all Leos, but for those who resonated, this was your Leo read. So thank you so much for pulling up around me and for going through um, these zodiac signs with me, okay, you guys? We're going to tap into Gemini's. Gemini gang gang in the building. We're going to tap into my Gemini. Where are my Gemini gems at? Drop your gems down in the chat. Let me know you're ready for the reading. You're welcome, you guys. If you find that these readings resonate, I do offer personal reading services at my site, oraclegangbanny.com. Oraclegangbanny.com is the only way to book a reading with me, so make sure you're booking with me only on that site and no other place. Don't be giving, your pe don't be giving people on social media your information. It's not me. I don't sign in your DMs. Mm -hmm. Beware. Beware. All right, with that being said, 
Let's get into the Gemini read. I'm gonna tap into Gemini's energy. Thank you for the hand heart. Shout out to the gang. Ew. Thank you so much. We got Devin. We got Alessa. We got um who else? Lynette. We got Estrella. Oh, we got a star up in the building. I know that's right. <laughs> we got Brielle. We got the Monica. <laughs> we got Selfa. We got Pam. Alexandria, Lewis, KK, Annette, K Sax, Cakes. We got Muñeca. Ooh, we got Nancy. We got Sierra. Mm, we got Taylor. I see Felicia. Raquel, Colleen, Baby Girl, Shira. Welcome in, you guys. Welcome in. Thank you so much for pulling up around me. Share up the live stream, you guys. Run it up, run it up, run it up. We're trying to get to 100 live stream shares here on TikTok. So run it up. All right. Let's see who's on my YT. I didn't say hi to my YT gang for a minute. We got Aisha. We got Saya. My OG is up in the building. All right. Who else do we have? We have Jenny. We have Breezy. We got Estefani. Estefani. Um, Phoenix. What? What are you saying? Brianne. I think we got bots in the chat. Unfortunately, I don't have my um, moderator in the chat right now. And that's okay. She busy with life things. But I got bots in the chat. So if you see bots in the chat, it's fine. I'm not mad at it. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Also, rewatch the the readings on my tube of the U. It's right over here. We're live streaming there right now. You can rewatch the reading right now if you find that you want to um, tap in again. All right. With that being said, we're going to get into Gemini's read. Gemini's, I'm going to pull the Lover's Oracle card deck for you, honey. You've been here since Scorpio and you done fell asleep and you're waiting on Sag? Nisi, you are dedicated. Thank you, boo. We are getting to Sagittarius as quick as possible. All right. Thank you for supporting the live stream. Thank you for sharing the live stream. Ghettos. Thank you so much. Is that how you pronounce it? Ghettos? Ghettos? <laughs> Is it ghetto? <laughs> but you spelled it different? Who All right. <laughs> Welcome in, gang. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing up the live stream case styles. Shout out to the gang. What do we have here for my Gemini's? Gemini gang babies and deities pertaining to love and romance. For those who are single or in a relationship. Hey, Natasha. Hey, Shira. Thank you for liking the live. Thank you for the likes, Natasha and Mel. Truth Uncensored. I forgot you a Gemini. You come into the building all the time. And you know, shout out to the gang. Chin Key, Alter Ego, Gemini. Pulling up. For real, for real. Mm, I got my Oracle gang babies and deities up in the building. For real, for real. Deep. Heavy on them. There must have been a lot of Leos in the chat because we were already up to 400 and it dropped to like 263. And I'm like, oh, there was a whole crowd of Leos up in here. They either liked the reading or they didn't. Anyways, I have other readings, you guys. If the readings don't resonate, that just means that another reading did at some point within the last week. So just because it happened last week doesn't mean it doesn't resonate. All my readings are within a three-month span time. I literally just had somebody. It's so crazy because I literally just had somebody um from who had a personal reading they booked a personal reading with me in january and everything coming to fruition by march okay so this is what i'm saying like you gotta let things play out some of y'all y'all be wanting it to resonate right away Ooh, you deserve love heart to heart conversations i'm shook if i like this energy for you gemini's who does he is? You tell me. I don't know. So for some of my Geminis, you could be single. You're seeing that you deserve love elsewhere. You might be shooting your shot or somebody shooting their shot towards you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, honestly discussing their feelings with you. I'm also seeing here, uh, for some of my Geminis who are in a relationship, it does seem like you deserve somebody who is willing to have the heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. I feel like Geminis, you're very much stimulated by um, intellectual conversations sapiosexual kind of in a way where you're stimulated by uh by conversations first before you have the sex so you got to be whispered you know certain things maybe you have to have have to have certain topics of conversation that's what it's giving me so i do see that here you are gaining that whether you're single or in a relationship it seems like that's happening or that you like that about that person if you have that person in your in your life right now i do see here uh, bottom of the deck is saying healing family issues. For some of my Geminis, you could be healing family issues and having hard-to-hard -hard conversations with your family. When we talk about love and relationship reads, we talk about 
all types of people that we care about and who we have relationships closest to. So for some of my Geminis, your uh, family is coming into the reading. So for some of you, this isn't romantic. This is going to be a platonic read. And I do feel like you deserve to have the loving conversations with some people in the family dynamic. Thank you, Neek. Um, some people in the family dynamic that you feel as though it's expired, it's overdue. We need to have these conversations. We're through or like, you know... We're through faking it or doing whatever or, you know, whatever, whatever. So there is this energy coming through. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you might have to forgive your parents of the past. You might have some healing work to do. I don't know if you're reaching out to them to do this or if you're doing this internally and you don't really talk to them. That's totally fine too. But there is this energy like you're healing this somehow or you're addressing this because it has a lot to do with how you love or and give and receive love. So for a lot of my Geminis, this is kind of like bubbling up to the surface and was kind of necessary during the eclipse energy. The eclipse energy was telling me that you were probably going through this in and around this time for the last two weeks i want to say you guys were a high emotional time for my gemini's i wouldn't be surprised i would not be surprised because how the eclipse hit the gemini's i know it was serious i know okay so with that energy there is this type of feeling happening here now i could read this another way as well with this healing card it's giving me that this person who you are attracting or your person who you're with right now let's say if they're in your energy um i do feel as though they come from um, they come from a family dynamic that could need to be addressed with healing or that they, they already did this work. I want to say that I want to be, I want to feel like it's safe to say that they already did this work. I'm going to lift the card in a second. Okay. So yeah, it's worth, it's worth waiting for. Yeah. So for some of my Geminis, you're attracting somebody who's worth waiting for after you release the emotional baggage between you and your family or your parents or your dynamic like that when it comes to your childhood traumas or triggers but um without getting too deep within that what you have worth waiting for is new love because of the conversations that you have or the chapters that you close out or the unfinished business that you take care of when it comes to your family dynamics mm -hmm. i feel like it's really important because that's that's really where our love comes from is from how we're raised and if we have a lack of love in those areas we have to address those things in order to have successful love in our adult life so it's it's kind of the the, the work we don't want to do the nitty-gritty the getting our elbows and our fresh air force ones dirty you know what i'm saying it's get it's like it's like hopping in the mud it's like going outside going to school right and your fresh air forces you you go into school you walk out of school school's up you know it's past two o'clock three o'clock or whatever they get out now and you realize it's raining and you ain't got nothing to put around your shoes not even a trash bag you just got this cheapo dollar store umbrella and there's mud and there's 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 grit. There's grass, there's mud, and there's grit getting all on your clean shoes. That's the kind of work we don't want to do is when we have to clean that up to make our shoes look better again because we know our parents aren't going to buy us another pair. Or we know that we're not going to buy ourselves another pair because we ain't got the funds. It's, it's giving that energy. So I know I compared it to a, a pair of sneakers, but there is this energy where... I do feel like you don't want to do the work. You'd rather just buy something new. Well, you can't just buy a new family, okay? You can't just buy a new family. You got to you gotta just, you know, handle what you got and work with what you have, you know? And if it ain't working, it ain't working then, okay? But Spirit is saying we do got to heal something. We got to address something, okay? Inner child work is here. The wind be blowing your umbrella. Oh, God. Them umbrellas was so cheap. When I tell you I got the dollar store umbrella because I thought they were cute, when it was a windy day, <laughs> my straightened hair, I was trying to be cute, with straightened hair, frizz ball, frizz ball, mm -mm. embarrassing, embarrass myself in front of all my friends, all my peers, going to the corner store looking a mess, because you know we wouldn't go straight home, you know on your way back to from school you hanging at your bestie's house before your parents get home or you going to the local gas station getting them them uh capri suns or whatever you was getting the kool-aid aging myself 90s 2000 era um anybody know about that right now mm-hmm 
going everywhere else but home. You know, you, your butt you should have been home. That was my Gemini's. That's why I'm channeling that. Because Gemini's, I know you was the one. You was the ones. <laughs> you was the ones. All right. We have um, letting go of the control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. <laughs> I used to say I'd be looking crazy. Oh, God. So there is this energy where I do feel like there is something worth waiting for and it allows you, it, it almost teaches you and allows you to um, to un allow a situation to, to unfold naturally. Excuse me, I'm trying to like swallow um, my snacks that I'm eating. Okay, so yeah, there is this energy of that. I do feel like you're in a relationship, Geminis. For some of my Geminis, it's not going to be for all, but for some of you guys, you are in a relationship where you do deserve this love. This is a person who, sh who, who was shooting their shot and they continuously shoot their shot and bow and arrow towards you. They don't they don't have an apple of an eye anywhere else or nothing like that. I do feel like this is a healing connection. This is actually you being in this relationship is healing like your inner child work that you didn't need that you didn't know you needed, if that makes sense. So it's almost like you being in this romantic connection ends up healing a lot of the stuff that you thought that you already healed that you didn't know needed healing, but now it's bubbling up to the surface and you're like, what is this? And your person is like, it's okay. Divine timing is at work in, 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 in life with us. You know, divine timing is happening right now. You, you're good. You're safe. You're cool with me. And you might be lashing out on this person. You might be wilding out. You might be short-tempered right now. You might be dealing with a lot of the planetary shifts on an emotional level. But spirit is saying, yeah, it's okay. This person is there, but they're not a punching bag. But they are going to be there because they definitely care about you. And it has a lot to do with how the relationship is healing, okay? So I see letting go of control issues. Thank you, Kimmy. Um, I do see here that you're allowing the situation to unfold naturally, which is really nice, all right? So I do see reconciliation with you guys. Um, reconciliation from your past returning to your life. I do feel like the reconciliation has a lot to do with your past energy with your family dynamic and you felt like needed healing however you grew up as a child. No judgment over on this way. We all got healing work to do, all right? With that being said, I do see that you're reconciling your differences from the past to have a relationship in the present moment romantically. Whether you have one yet or not, um, this is talking about for some of you, you already have one. This is the kind of connection you have that's healing. For others of you, you're attracting one that's about to be this healing. Okay, so if you're single, if you're taken, take it how it resonates, okay? Um, with that being said, let's get your angel advice. I do want to see the angel here. Thank you so much for sharing up the live stream. Number one supporter, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let's see, what else do we have here? Ooh, we have 133.4K likes. Ah, and we have 72. Oh my God, guys, we have 72 shares. I'm almost to 100. What? That's awesome. For a, a Tuesday night, that's great. I'm not going to complain. Never. I'm going to count all my blessings. Thank you, Luna's must have. I appreciate you. All right, here we go. You said this reading is hitting on it? Gonna, gonna in the chat. Hey. Hey, Sanaya Poo. Welcome in, welcome in. I see all my Geminis up in the building resonating on the YT. If you guys want to rewatch the reading, you can always go live and rewind. If you want to rewatch something I said or watch the rest of the reading over there, you're more than welcome to. It's the tube of the U. Thank you, Regina. Ah, Regina sent me two. Two slippers. They all fit. Three slippers. They all fit. They're not going around the town asking, have you seen Cinderella? I am her. She is me. Okay. Success. Wow. You have success here, Gemini's, in a relationship. And there's something better. Yeah, just wait on it. There's something better, okay? There's something here unfolding for you. So it's not like wait as it's obsessed on the when and the how and the who and the why. Who's going to look like what and when they're going to come. Thank you, King Styles. It's giving me this energy where you're going to be minding your own business, staying in your own lane, doing your own life things, and boom, you're just going to have success and love. You're going to realize that it's in divine timing, so you can't do nothing about it anyway, even if you knew the timing of it. And it's just going to be something better than you than you ever experienced or than you ever thought you can call in or manifest. So that's what I'm seeing here. Very beautiful energy. I don't have any complaints for Gemini's. I don't even see nothing bad here, to be quite honest. 
I just see a lot of growth and evolution and uh, change when it comes to love and romance. So if this was your reading, you know it's, it was your reading. If it wasn't, check out my other readings on my YT at Oracle Gang Baddie on the tube of the U. All right. So that way you can um, get something that resonates with you. All of my readings are time stamped in the comments. Thank you to Zion who time stamps all of my comments sections with your uh, zodiac sign. So you can just jump straight to the read. You don't have to like find the video or the part of the video that resonates or nothing like that. You can just go to the comments. It's right there. Your zodiac sign, boom, jump to, to it. All right. Thank you, Jasmine. I appreciate you for the rose. If you guys are new here, please give me a, um, you're welcome, you guys. Please give me a, a follow here on TikTok at Oracle Game Bandy. Thank you, Adelina. And also Truth Uncensored. Wow. Annalina sent me them. Ooh. Ooh, she sent me them glass slippers. I love it. I got 7 out of 22, you guys. I'm trying to get all 22 by the time we get to Virgo. Can we make it happen? I don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to let me know. All right, you guys. So um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Drea. Drea, that is the most beautiful compliment ever. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Regina. 70. 76. Ah! Regina, you were going all out, girl. You said 107. You said, oh, 76 isn't enough, honey. I didn't give you 107. Roses. Dozens on dozens on dozens. That was such a beautiful compliment. Thank you so much for my baddie in the chat who complimented me. said, I was so on point. She's blown away by my gift. I said, oh. Just imagine what I do in a personal read. You guys offer personal reading services. OracleGameBetty.com is the only way to book with me. OracleGameBetty.com if you would like to book a personal reading. What do we have here for closing out my Gemini's read? Um, I hate, or am I closing out your reading? Or I'm not closing it out. I'm already done with your read. Didn't I say I was done with your read? I'm tripping. Where's my Pisces gang? Where is my Pisces gang? I'm over here distracted with the gifts. Y'all spoiling me over here on TikTok. I don't know how to act. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, you guys. Welcome in. Aisha. Aisha's right here. I know that's right. Aisha's a Pisces. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Pisces gang, beauties and sandies. Drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. Not Gemini about to get a second read. <laughs> like, Gemini's, get out the room. Get out. <laughs> Before you get jumped by Pisces. <laughs> Who would win that fight? If there was an actual fight, like a battle of the energy, not a battle like physical fight, like a battle of the energies. Whose energy you think is better? Pisces or Gemini? I just want to see. Let's take a vote. I'm just kidding. Don't vote. Don't do that. Don't do that. You guys are ready to vote too. Don't do that. We're not going to pick sides. We're all the signs. It was a test, you guys. <laughs> no question, Pisces. We're crazy. <laughs> Pisces is crazy too, but they're the, the they're the sign of crazy. They're the sign of crazy. Um, hold on. Let me get these cards that fell on the floor, you guys. Give me one second. Wow, Pisces. Oh my God. You should see what happened on the floor. Mm-hmm. We're in the Pisces reading now. It's too late. Strap up. We're going straight to the divine. All right. So here we go. Big happy changes? <laughs> With who? This is cute. We have peaceful resolution and we also have abundance here, okay? So I do want to say that you guys are definitely <laughs> welcome in, you guys. If you like my vibes, definitely give me a follow here at Oracle Game Baby on TikTok and the YT, okay? Rewatch the reading over there. Rewatch it. All right, you can rewind over there. Rewind over there. All right, so. You do have big happy changes and you come to a peaceful resolution. Finally, Pisces. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm actually going to ring that singing bowl more than once because I'm very happy with you guys because you know what, Pisces? If you notice the last few readings that you had in Love and Romance, they have been going through it. Let's just say you've been dragged. Okay. So with this reading, you finally, I don't know what you did. Maybe you close out a karmic cycle or something of that nature you finally let go of a version of yourself maybe you finally went through that shadow work or something like that but it's giving like there's something here that elevated you to a big happy change in in uh romance and in relationships so i do see this here i do see a peaceful resolution and a lot of abundance okay all right so lexi said ring it again yes <laughs> period all right <laughs> 
Yeah, so there is this energy, and I, I love this for you. I finally am like, wow, okay, Pisces is doing good. Because your career readings, no cap, Pisces. Thank you for the crystal shoes. Love you, five. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get those 22 by, by the time we get to Virgo. If y'all got the gift, send it. If y'all got the glass sh glass slipper shoe money, send that. Send that coin. All right, um... But yeah, I do see this here. For some of you guys, man, your Pisces career reads are on point. If y'all never tapped into a career reading, go to Pisces career read. I mean, since January, y'all have been getting abundance after abundance, accolade after accolade, success after success cards. It's almost unbelievable. So at this point, I'm like, what is going on? So um, that's what I'm seeing here. So anyways, you have big, happy changes um finally in romance matching your happy changes in career which is my point of telling you that um so finally we have the equal balance happening with the yin and the yang energy or the koi fish to the koi fish energy of your sign you know things are balancing out and harmonious now with your love and career you did something you did something and i feel like you did whatever it is i told you to do aka divine source creator told you to do through my energy channeling because i'm only at the telephone um, I feel like they told you to unlock certain parts of yourself and you actually did that and you delivered. And this is why you're getting this delivery from the divine. You're getting love here. Big happy changes. Big purr. That's what it's giving. Big purr. Big purr. Why is my computer? Hold on. I need my computer light on. Hold on, you guys. It is. It's always bright enough okay all right so what do we have here it is your time to shine sanaya poo welcome in to all my pisces game beauties and deities and another one we're getting another card yeah that honeymoon phase is over that honeymoon phase is over when i tell you guys for some of my pisces let me tell you about yourselves because you already know but i'm going to tell you about yourselves for some of you pisces what i've been channeling for you guys for a while in the last live streams very consistently when it comes to love and romance. For some of you singles Pisces, you've been running a, a, up against like a lot of uh, unrequited love or surface level love. Honeymoon energy. So it's in and it's out. As quick as, as fast as it started is as fast as it's done. So that's what I'm getting. So I'm getting, you're finally having big happy changes with this honeymoon card in the reverse. I'm being shown here that you're going to have a longevous relationship or you're going to have some type of commitment for my single Pisces, okay? So for my single Pisces, if you was tired of the dating scene or you just felt like you was exhausted or you was running around in circles with the, with the clowns at the circus, you're not doing that no more, okay? There's something here, financial finances and career, you picked up the pieces of, of the, the part of your own garden that is now going to give you and nourish your heart and your mind into a connection or be, be attracting a nourishing heart heart and mind connection it's like i don't know i don't know pisces i feel like your heart and your mind were two separate entities like obviously in our bodies they are but like they weren't in union like you couldn't make decisions with your head head and your heart integrated like working together like the pisces that you should be it wasn't solid and i feel like now you're doing that i don't know why i'm being sent sent to say that but there is this equal peace and peaceful resolution going on within you about love and ro romance you, you like figured it out or you're about to figure it out for some of you guys you haven't done this yet you're about to figure it out it's about to be a ha, -ha jesus coming to jesus moment type energy it's gonna be an epiphany for others of you you already know how to do this you're like oh i get it now i know how to make a head and heart decision i'm not making a head over heart or a heart over head decision it's not separated because I feel like you used to separate things or you used to get emotionally fixated on things or pull away from things. It's either that you were fixated on something or you pulled away from something or you were fixated on something for a while until it honeymooned, right? Until it expired and then you just got out of it. So it had a lot to do with that you didn't realize or recognize how to accept love. You know how to give love, but you didn't know how to receive love. For some of you guys, you didn't know how to receive that. Um, you had high expectations for people who didn't even know how to properly give it. So then you were attracting somebody who couldn't give it properly. On top of that, you don't know how to receive it. So that's the mirror that you were kind of dabbling in. Girl, I, I don't know what this is. Um, we have balance here. Um, or not balance. Why did I say balance here? 
<laughs> I read balance on the screen. That's why. Um, <clears throat> we have playfulness here. So I do see uh, that someone is, was in their player energy. For some of you Pisces, you were in your player energy. You would rather be in your player energy than call in true commitment because that's all you knew and that's all that you were calling in. So you don't know what true love was looking like. You didn't know what having your person or a soulmate was going to look and feel like. Okay, so you were in some playful energy. So to recapture your inner romance, you allowed your inner youthful fun to shine, but you didn't allow your inner youthful um, child, inner child um, to shine. If that makes sense. You allowed the outside of yourself to shine. You going to the club. You going to the bar. You was hanging out with the biddies. You was hanging out with the dudes. You was hanging out with the whatever. Doing whatever. Invited to whatever. And it was giving like you were ready for that. You were you were definitely strapped up for that life. But someone is coming in to clank, clank, lock that in. Okay. All right. So I do feel like you're going to be open to this. It's not somebody who's going to be controlling and lock it in. And you're going to be like, I don't want to be in it anymore. It's going to be actually somebody who you're into on a soul level, not just surface level. Because for a lot of my Pisces, you probably were picking people's surface level. To be quite honest, you were just looking at the looks. All right. And that's totally fine. You were dreamy. You were being your dreamy Pisces self. Okay. But there is this energy where um, you are going to be <laughs> using the only Oracle. Just know your aura is purple. Thank you so much. Um, you are going to be in a relationship that is committed finally, Pisces. So for my Pisces that are single, this is your read. I get this for you, 100,000, 100 on top of everything percent, okay? You're being asked to trust. And as I'm saying that, I see 144. I don't know if your angel number is 144, if you've been seeing repeating numbers 144 a lot. But that could be your angel number for this reading. This situation is calling for you to have faith, trust. Trust in this energy. You know what? I want to look up 144 for you real quick. Now that my computer's up and running or whatnot, let me just look this up for my Pisces real quick. All right, I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up uh, 144. What it means in love for my Pisces real quick before y'all get out the room. Sorry if the typing is like annoying. Um, it says. Wow, it says this number signifies that love is your life's focus and that the universe directs you towards profound love and progress. Profound love and progress. It's a powerful sign from divine realm indicating a deep connection with purpose in heart matters. I'm telling you guys, when, when I tell you guys, listen, my Oracle Game babies and Zaddies up in the building. If you're a Pisces who's single, you're attracting somebody. Who is that it person? Okay. So you just better get right with whatever it is that you want. Because I don't know. Do you want this commitment? Are you ready for it? Like stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Because it's coming in. All right. So trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. This process is calling you to have faith. It's calling for you to have faith. Because you have abundance, big happy changes, and a peaceful resolution when it comes to love and romance. Now let's keep this on the spread here. And let's pull the cards for those in a relationship. I want to get for those in our Pisces, my Pisces in a relationship. I don't know why I split the two of you guys up. I didn't do that for the other readings, but I'm doing that for you guys. We have imprisonment. This came out in the reverse. So the imprisonment, you're not no longer trapped in your mind about something. You know what it is that you want in this connection or what it is that you want to do if you're in a relationship. I do get that you could have been trapped in your mind uh, overthinking or somebody was overthinking. If it wasn't you, Pisces, it was your partner. For This is for relationship, Pisces. It was your partner who was overthinking. Whether you're casually talking or if you're in a committed relationship, whoever it is that you're dealing with, somebody here was overthinking, anxieties, doubts, worries, stress, fear, sleepless nights, etc. I don't know if they felt a lack of confidence or insecurities or depression or what, but there is this energy where it's now in the reverse. So it's telling me that there's big happy changes. This could have been your energy, Pisces, or the person that you're dating. Take it how it resonates. Shoot be on the other foot not always accurate though okay you guys and i feel like there's a big concern behind this all if if you were ever going to have love with this person or if this person was ever going to get it together okay so i do see that here <clears throat> with that being said let's get some more messages yeah i feel like this puts you on a new journey or this put this person on a new journey um possibly away from the connection i get that for some of you uh pisces you're leaving a committed relationship or some type of committed relationship because you want peace. Somebody's not being your peace. So you wanted peace. For some of you guys, you already left this. But for others of you, like you left this recently, like yesterday or last week or two weeks ago. But there is this energy where I do feel like, um, I do feel like you, you left 
an old version of yourself behind when you walked away from this connection that you're about to leave or that you already had left. So for some of you guys, you're about to leave this connection because I'm talking about relationship Pisces. So for some of you, you're not happy where it's at and you're leaving an old version of yourself behind with that because that that you knew that that's what you attracted because you attracted that by being your old self. But you you, you evolved. You're, you're not really the same person that this person met or that you resonate with anymore. So you're like, oh, that was for a season or oh, that was only for my own soul growth. It's time to move on. So I see you moving on and going on a new journey here. There's an ending to a tough cycle. For some of you, this is karmic. This is like you ending a karmic cycle. Very interesting. We have thoughts on the bottom of the deck here. And we have privileged person. Yeah, you could be somebody who uh, was dating someone and you were thinking about somebody else. Um... And that's probably why you're leaving because maybe you're going back to someone. Um, you could have been in a relationship and you could have been thinking about someone who is younger than you. No, you could have been leaving somebody who was younger than you. You're thinking of leaving somebody who's younger than you. For some of you, you're with somebody who's younger than you by one to two years. They're one or two years or one or two months younger than you. Could be three because I see the one and the two equals three. Um, yeah, one, two, or three years younger than you. Or this person is one, two, or three years older than you, but they act really immature. They act young. So you're thinking about leaving this because you're not happy with the abundance there. So what you do is you get on this train and you leave, figuratively speaking, or literally, I don't know, maybe you're moving out. Maybe you guys live together. I don't know your business. I don't know. But what I see here is that there's a big happy change because there's a peaceful resolution because you realize that you can only be your own peace. You can't expect other people to pull up around you and be your peace for you. You create your own reality. So if you want peace, then you attract people who have peace. If someone is not being your peace, then you out of there because you respect yourself so much. And, and, and I feel like this is going to bring you abundance. So now that you're walking away from it, because now I'm looking at this as you now, now that you're walking away from the past, you may still be looking at the past, but you're still moving in the right direction, okay? So you are a privileged person, as far as I know, with your heart space and what you want. Your heart and your mind is connected. It's not disconnected. I don't know. It gives me like your heart and your mind was disconnected. It gives me almost like, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say this on a live stream. I never say stuff like this. But it's almost like you were bamboozled or you were love spelled or you were black magic or you were, I don't know. It was like negative energy distracting you somehow and your head couldn't think clearly with your heart. It couldn't work together with your heart. It was like your head was detached from your heart. So it's like you were just doing things. But... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You were just doing, your body was doing things, but you weren't, we weren't in your body. I don't know what this is. What is spirit talking about? I need to get out of Pisces reading right now. I don't know who this is resonating with. I need to get out of it. Um, I need to get out of this energy. Okay, anyways, what do we have here? To close out Pisces read. You said it resonates, Adelina? Girl, I don't know what's resonating anymore. As far as I know, this is the most confusing reading I did of the night. I'm like, what are we talking about? <laughs> Definitely ended up a karmic relationship. Yeah. For some of you, you're not in a relationship or you're in a karmic thing. Getting to know each other. Yeah, you're getting to know somebody better, which brings you big happy changes. Also, you're out of your head space. So now you're connected to your heart space, which is what you were, what you were exactly waiting for. So there's something worth waiting for. We have um, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It seems like you're going to be having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. For some of my Pisces, y'all are going back to somebody. I don't know if there's somebody of the past or someone who, like, the past past. Or if there's somebody here that you are interested in that you've met before, but you didn't choose them. You chose, um, like, you casually met them before. Or maybe you were in the talking phase, but it didn't work out. And you choose, same, you choose, some, you chose somebody else or somebody else chose you over them. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, or vice versa. So you chose somebody else over them or they chose somebody else over you. But there's a reason why it didn't work out because you needed to have an experience somewhere else just to realize that you should have chose that person. So I think that person is still available and that's why you're thinking about them. You could be looking at them on social media with the family room here. It's giving me that you could be um, looking on social platforms with this T set here on the card. It's giving me like there's a lot of gossip or talk around it or something like that. Maybe it is an X from the past past a blast from the past but for some of you guys you're just um you're just leaving a connection and being like yeah i wonder if so and so is available or something like that i find it i find it like the most confusing read <laughs> so we're gonna get out of this energy your ex keeps popping up in your dreams if that's the case, then flip this whole reading and reverse it so it resonates with you. Because it seems like that's what this person is. This person, you're thinking about this person or this person is thinking about you. Take it how it resonates. But it was all, it was a whole roller coaster. I was like, what is going on? But um, it seems like you're now you're making better executive decisions in your love life, which is the whole point for your reading, Pisces. So it's, it feels a lot better. It feels a lot more successful. It feels a lot happier. There's a big change happening here. All right. Big change, big purr. We have that number 10 there. So you could have been seeing 10, 10 a lot. 11, 11. I see a lot of change here. Some new beginnings. Some type of committed stuff. So that's what I'm seeing. Aisha, that's y'all for real? You say you tired? Sienna Poo, you tired? Oh my God. You was tired of that long-term. You said long-term stability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you like that. Anyways, you guys, it's going to resonate with who it's going to resonate with. I was very confused in Pisces reading. I was trying to follow it, but I just, I was gone. I was, <laughs> I was with that dreamy Pisces mind. And I was like, <laughs> we're tapping out because I'm feeling the Lulu at this point. I'm not feeling connected to the body source anymore. I just am in dreamland with Pisces energy. Hey, yourself. You welcome in, Ashley. You made it. Mel, you said you're a Pisces. You've been seeing 444 a lot. I mean, that's right. Shout out to the gang. Pulling up with the angel numbers in the chat. Yeah. So what do we have for my crazy game, babies and dandies? Oh, God. Here goes another one. This is another sign that I cannot channel to save my life sometimes. It's a hit or miss. It really is. So strap up, Aquarius. It's either going to hit or miss. <laughs> but with that being said, Adelina, thank you so much for the hand heart. I appreciate you. Yeah. All right. We're going to into the reads. Patrice, Lucy, welcome in, Lucy. Hey, welcome in, Jess. Thank you for liking the live stream, Jess. You know, thank you so much, Michelle, for sharing up the live stream, you guys. Run it up, run it up, run it up. We have 150, 150K likes, and we also have 79 shares. So, you guys, if them shares start to match them likes, I'm going to be like, bro, we're doing extra stuff for y'all. Um, thank you, M. Wow, thank you, M, for the uh, glass slippers. I really appreciate you. Ooh. That's cute. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, what else we got going on here for my Aquarius is I'm trying to figure out which one I want to tap into, which Oracle deck. And if you guys would like a personal reading with me, you can always book with me at oraclegamebaddy.com. Oraclegamebaddy.com is the only way to book a personal reading with me. So make sure that you are booking from the correct platform. Okay. Pretty Naira. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Welcome in gang in the building all right you guys let's say let's say so what do we have here for my aquarius is what do we have here for my aquarius is i'm gonna give this oracle card deck a little bit of a break -y break i'm gonna let it recharge okay because i'm gonna need it to tap in with some aquarius gang energy because aquarius is be always throwing me for a loop sometimes they're the air sign and the water sign combined First of all, there's two signs in one. I don't even know how it works. I love you guys, but it's hard to channel y'all energy. I don't know what it is. And I have Aquarius in my chart. That's the crazy thing. I'm not a sun sign, but it's in my chart somewhere. Patrice, don't do you like that? Well, Patrice, tell me if I be channeling because I don't be feeling like I be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I get it. My Aquarius is, I don't know. I don't know why y'all keep coming back. I just feel like it'd be off. What is this thing? Motorcycle going by. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. This is the card that you got out in my in Cosmic Insights Oracle deck. 
So this is very interesting to start off and crown your read. I want to know what it is that you're trying to give some time to. It seems like, wow, we have you're being watched over. This could be somebody who passed. This could be somebody who, um, I'm not a medium, so don't ask me to channel nobody who passed. I don't want to talk to no spirits. I do not want to be like the Sixth Sense child in that movie. I don't. No, thank you. That was scary. I don't. I said, Spirit, I don't want those abilities. I'm okay. I don't need that. I don't need to be great. I just need to be good enough. <laughs> All right? Because that kid, I don't know about that. I saw that movie that first time. I said, I don't want no Sixth Sense. Okay? I just want five. I just want five. But anyways, um, there is this energy of that... Spirit is looking after you. You have divine source creator all around you when it comes to love and romance. They get that you want love. I see here a change of residence, moving in with your partner. Oh my God, oh my God, I just got a download. Oh my God, I just got a download. I'm like a little kid. When I get the downloads and they hit like that, I get excited, especially when it's not hitting for Aquarius sometimes. There is this energy where I do feel like you're giving it time for allowing things to flow in relationships, but it's almost like um, you're divinely guided. Obviously, you're divinely guided. It says it here twice. It's with an angel, and then it says divine timing. So you're divinely guided. There's something divinely orchestrated or someone who you're here to meet for my Aquariuses who are single. It's someone who's definitely got their eye on you from a distance. So I do get that this person could... Definitely be doing the research on you or know who you are or something of that nature. It could be somebody you met recently. It doesn't have to be in a creepy way. I just feel like that they're kind of like looking at you. You know what I mean? Male or female. Sometimes you got to make sure somebody's not the Lulu. Sometimes you got to make sure somebody's true true. Somebody's, sometimes you got to make sure that they're single and ready to mingle and they're not taken and lying. So there is this energy where this person is just doing their little, you know, you know, their, their normal creep. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? They're just creeping on your page just a little bit, just to like, mm -hmm, just to see. Um, but I do see here that they know who you are. They're definitely interested. I do feel like they could be a possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, or that they have these placements in their chart, in their moon, rising, Venus, or, yeah, moon, rising, or Venus. It could be their sun sign, but if it's not their sun sign, it's one of the other signs. But it seems like they have a lot of love to give. It seems like they will open up their heart and help you attract and, and open up your heart at the same time. Um, I also get that you could have water sign also in your chart matching and compatible to this person somehow in your zodiac chart. If you know your whole zodiac chart and you know how to read it. Um, I would definitely go to astrologer if I were you to read it. There is this energy of moving. So there's a change of residence. Uh, moving in with your partner is what I see here. I do feel like um, you're going to meet uh, somebody who you're going to be able to move in with. But for some of you guys, you're relocating first. You're going to meet this other person in another city, state, town. Could be another country. I don't know what y'all doing with your life. Mm -mm. I don't know. But whatever you're doing, let's see. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Um, you could go east coast, north, west. I don't know where you're going to go. But it seems like when you move there, you're going to meet this water sign person. Um For some of you, this person you already know, it's because um, you, I want to say, you, for some of y'all, you have a roommate that you moved in with or a family member, and this person already had met you through them. So they're kind of just like, ooh, Aquarius is really interesting. I would love to get to know them, you know? I don't know who talks like that, but, you know, I'm just trying to keep it clean and cute for the TikTok. But it's giving that energy. So there's something divinely guided to come towards you in union. So if you've been if you were if you've been getting pulled to move somewhere, it's kind of like spirit trying to pull you. You see this energy, divine timing at work in your love life. Your guardian is trying to pull you, your ancestor, your angel is trying to pull you through an umbilical cord of like spiritual energy to the universe. To a specific area where your person resides. Does that make sense? So you're going to find love when you actually go with the flow of this. Because it seems like you're resisting it or you don't want to leave certain things behind. Which is totally fine. You don't have to do it in this lifetime. You don't have to listen to me at all. But there is this energy where your person, one of, your, one of the people that you're meant to meet is somewhere else in another city, state, or country or something of that nature. So um, wherever it is that you're being pulled and guided to go. I'm not saying just being like, oh, yeah, well, since I'm going to go to um, 
Europe, I'm gonna just go get myself a, a UK baddie. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying where you're being pulled to. So if you're like, dang, like I've always been being pulled to like Michigan. I need to go to Michigan. I don't know why. I don't know what's in Michigan, but I just feel like I need to be there. That's kind of like your internal like soul grid or like your internal like your energetic grid line that you're supposed to be crossing at some point in your life. So your person could be there. That's what I'm getting. Uh, for some of you guys, For some of you guys, I do feel as though the person in your vicinity, in your city or state, is definitely looking at you from a distance, probably on social media or probably asking someone else about you. But I do feel like um, this is the person in the later future, not in the near future, but in the later, later future, like after you guys go through the talking phase and stage, after you guys get together and all that stuff, after you solidify a title, whatever, whatever, you guys are actually going to be the ones to move in together. So that's what I see here. So this next person coming through for some of my Aquariuses, that's going to be the person who you move in with or level up the next level of ascension in your uh, spiritual journey and even in your physical journey, like your physical journey together. Thank you for the finger heart. Shout out to Patrice. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing, for those of you in a relationship, I do feel like somebody is spying because someone's heart is closed, they have insecurities, so they're spying on the relationship. This could be a past person, or this could be the person that you're with. Maybe Aquarius, you're spying, because maybe you're in the relationship, and you're the one who has insecurities about this person not being committed to you. Whatever it is, whether it's you, them, or an ex spying at your commitment at, at a distance, because the exes could be spying at your commitment at a distance if you're happy, and that maybe they're on the other side of the screen, the Lulu, that they're going to get you back or something. There is this energy that you are in a serious commitment. So for my Aquariuses who are in a relationship, you are in a serious commitment if it's, if it's positive. You know if it's toxic, don't tell me, oh, well, it's toxic. You, then that's not, this ain't, your, this ain't your reading. This is for the people where it's not toxic. So there is this energy of like, Share your emotions with this water sign energy, even if nobody's a water sign that you're dating or that you don't have water in your chart. It's telling me to share your emotions and open up your heart because you're going to attract more love in the relationship that you already have. And it's going to deepen the bond. It's going to deepen the commitment between each other. And maybe you guys will move in together or actually get married or maybe you'll get proposed to or be the proposee. The proposer or the proposee. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. For others of you, it's somebody's ex. It's either your ex or your person's ex. Somebody is spying on the great connection you have. And they're looking to see what your accolades are. Oh, do they, do they live together yet? And they're looking for little clues in the background. I get that they're looking at like a video. Maybe like a story post or something. It's either a story post or like something. And they're looking in the background to look for like underwear or like oh i saw that boba teacup in the story when he was with her and then now the boba teacup is on the post and they must live together like i don't know they're just matching some stuff up bro it's the lulu i can't stand it i'm already tired of this energy aquarius so you're probably tired or you probably know who this is but somebody is doing this surveillance camera they have some whole surveillance camera on the on social media they need to, they need to get hired by adt they need to get hired by adt because i can't <laughs> who needs a device when you got the x like that's what it's giving you don't need a camera this person got it down <laughs> i'm screaming not them counting the boba on oh, god Somebody likes boba tea, Aquarius is like obsessed with boba tea. I don't know if you get it from a place or I don't know if you get it from the market, but you, you either get it pre-made in a kit or that you really like boba tea. You go to the places that make it there live and real. Ooh, the tea is hot. The tea is hot. Okay, speaking of tea, now we're going from boba tea to actual brew tea, hot brew tea, fresh off the kettle. Look at this. Trust that your relationship 
this is is calling you to have faith for some of you guys your aquariuses who are single just trust that you have your person coming towards you okay now that that's over with let's get into those in a relationship this is is calling you to trust the relationship because there's something about boom the ex i told you it's here it came out it came out <laughs> it came out because the ex can't hide even if they wanted to block you keep you blocked or even if they wanted to unblock you and spy on your story just because they used to be with him and then unblock him and spy on him and then you unblock and then you're not on the story anymore or maybe they changed it maybe they are you won't catch them something's gonna come Somebody gonna slip. Somebody gonna accidentally like something or accidentally follow and it's gonna be a wrap. You're gonna see who I'm talking about. We have released your ex. This is the person who is of the past. You may have released or that your person has released. Aquarius is if you're in a relationship. I don't care if you're in a relationship with them for like a week. I don't care if you're in a relationship for 10 years. It doesn't matter if it's committed or casual. This person has an ex or you have an ex here that is like, they, they're gonna they're gonna try and shoot their shot you see this right here but in order to shoot their shot they're not gonna make themselves look stupid they're actually gonna do the research first which is why they're doing this stop playing with me this is so juicy thank you Aquarius for having a juicy read but also just watch out for this because this type of person is definitely going to be a person who's going to try and get between the honesty or the trust between you guys on some weird petty stuff like on some oh I'm gonna like this photo so that the girlfriend could be could be a uh, worried or the guy's gonna be like oh i'm gonna um you know whatever guys do i don't know what guys do i can't really speak for the guys but the girls be doing that so there is this energy of like yeah, some pettiness that is going to require you to trust the relationship trust me because it's not it's not your person it's the it's the other person that's miserable unhappy with their lame life at this moment and not that their whole life is lame they're just living a lame life they're living a life that is not healing they're they're in a, a a lame limbo of like toxic karmic cycles and it's like come on that's lame like it's 2024 people are getting spiritual now people are trying to learn about healing people want to heal like what are we doing like what are we really doing like let's be honest what are we doing okay there's too much information out there for you to be still in karmic cycles you feel me so it's giving that this person is just doing too much i don't know what that is um, so let's get into the last message and then we'll get into Capricorn. Like at this point, if you're in a karmic cycle, I think you purposely want to be in it because you're either toxic to somebody else or you're toxic to yourself or both. Because there's too much information out there that you could start a healing journey and the amount of work that you put into the nine to five is the amount of work that you could nine to five into your soul journey. Hear me out. It's just too much. You don't got to do all that. Sweetie pie, you don't got to do all that. You know, you like these people just got to relax. All right. So within the next few months, be assertive. Um, be assertive with what you want. Be authentic and true to yourself in the relationship. Aquarius with what you want. If you feel like it's not working out in the relationship, you don't have to be in it. But I see it working out and significantly getting better because this person who you're with here is going to be emotional to open up their heart and commitment to you. Okay. Because they're going to ignore a narcissist or someone who's trying to distract them from moving forward with you, okay? Or vice versa. Like I said, this could be your past person trying to do that. But your relationship is protected. So back to this guardian angel watches over you type energy. Your relationship is being protected. And give it time. Everything happens in divine timing. So allow things to flow. It seems like something is definitely going to be stable here between you and another person in the long run. For my Aquariuses who are in a relationship. Who need to hear that message so allow that to play out some of that probably wasn't accurate as of right now but like i said my readings they're not accurate sometimes the day of they be accurate a little later on so you might just come back to the reading and be like oh my god didn't ogb say this and you might just find yourself re-watching the reading a month or two from now but with that being said i'm going to get out of your read and your energy we're going to tap into capricorn capricorn being greetings and ladies up in the thank you so much for sending me the rose angel shout out to the gang Guys, I only got 9 out of 22 of them slippers. I said, bye, Virgo. I would like to have 22 slippers. I, I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. Thank you so much for the heart puff. Hey, Rhea. Thank you so much for the rose. Jasmine OG in the building. 
All right, so we're tapped into my Capricorns, okay? So drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're the greatest of all time. Yeah, <laughs> you like how I did that? <laughs> yeah, let me know you're the greatest of all time. <laughs> all right, you guys. Um, Let's get into Capricorn's reading, all right, you guys? Hopefully, you're enjoying these readings. If you are new here, please give me a follow at Oracle Game Baddie on TikTok and as well on my other platform on the YT. Thank you so much, Rhea. Ah! she heard me and she delivered the shoes the shoes thank you so much i'm so excited thank you so much i appreciate you that was really sweet all right she didn't have to do all that but she did thank you rosa for liking the live capcom vibes thank you for the likes shout out to the gang thank you jennifer for joining welcome in jennifer let's see you're welcome belinda <laughs> Has cancer been read? Yes, cancer has been read. But you can go back and scrub back in the video. So if you go to my other platform here on the tube of you, the tube of you over here where I'm pointing, if you go over there, you can rewatch the reading. It's live right now, but you could scrub back in the video and rewatch anything you missed from the other zodiac signs if you're interested. All right, it's Oracle Game Baddie over at the tube of you. So type in Oracle Game Baddie. I'm the only one on there. They don't get scammers on the tube of you. They handle all that. TikTok's the one that... You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get them to um, get to my messages about the scammers. I don't know why. It's difficult. All right, you guys. So what do we have here for my Capricorn? Game biddies and zitties up in the building. What do we have here for my Capricorns? Wow, Sagittarius and Virgo. I hope y'all still there. Ooh, we're almost there. We're almost there, honey. I promise you we're almost there. I'm so sorry. Ooh, they've been in the chat for a while. All right, here we go. So what do we have for my Capricorn babies and Zannies up in the building? Hey, we have Jasmine OG. Nisi said, we here, we be vibe. <laughs> All right, let's get into the Kipper card, Oracle deck. We're gonna get into the black deck first. The black D. Thank you, Jasmine, for the paper crane. That's beautiful. I forgot, I used to collect those all the time. That was my first go-to gift. If you're a real OG, you remember when I always used to ask for those. I used to ask for hundreds of those. They were my favorites to get in the live stream. All right, what do we have here for my Capricorn Game Babies and Zadies? What do we have here? What's the messages? Do you for the highest good for career finances? Or I'm sorry, career finances. For love and relationships. Oh, we have the thief card. What are we talking about here? I'm worried now. I don't know if we should do your reading. We have the house card. It's on the other side. Privileged lady. What is going on? I get that there could be a younger person in and around you. Youthful, possibly. Possibly someone who you're going towards or walking away from. Walking away from something or someone else to go towards someone else who's younger. Courthouse. This is a decision-making process. What? It involves court, maybe legalities and there's a lot of family gossip around this two families gossiping someone's making a judgment call or the judge is about to make a judgment call but whatever this is this is very interesting coming through for some of some part of the some part of the capricorn reading not all the parts of the capricorn reading so take that how it resonates All right, so, wow. All right, so I'm going to read this two different ways. You might find that all the parts or some of the parts resonate with you. So only take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, let's get it. I do feel like um, Capricorn, you can feel as though that you're walking away from a relationship or a situationship where you felt like it wasted a lot of your time and energy. It was very immature or that it was too playful or Something that you really weren't happy with. I do feel like um, this person, I don't know if this person was a liar, cheater, or any of that energy. But I, what I do get is that you feel like this is something that was a loss or stole a lot of time, energy, or um, stole a lot of um, integrity from you. It was hard to walk away from. It could be somebody you live with. Could be somebody somebody you currently live with. I don't know. Um, 
this house card almost gives me stability too. So I do feel like the stability within the connection is off. Even if you guys don't live together, the stability and the connection is off. Um, if you're trying to walk away from it, I get that there's a gate here. So with this gate here, this gate is telling me like you walk out of the house, but you still have to get past the gate. So it's like someone trying to keep you trapped in a relationship. Mentally, emotionally, physically. Maybe you're trying to trap somebody. I don't know. I ain't playing fingers. Um, but then I get here. I'm confused because it seems like the stability that you're walking away from, you only go into the direction of wanting things to be stable with an outside person who could be single or younger. What? Yeah. Yeah. And then I have courthouse so that I have somebody, I, you know what I want to say? I want to say that someone's plotting and scheming against you in the court of law when it comes to a relationship of some sort. I don't know if you're divorcing somebody or if someone's divorcing you, but there's some, there's something here where in the court of law, something is happening low key, shady, low key. Um, it's not the people who are doing this um, necessarily. It's not the it's not the people who it's not the judge or the lawyers or the whatever the attorneys. It's it's you. It's you and you, the person. It's the person who's doing this, not the people who's doing this that you got to go to to get this handled. So that's what it's giving. It's like someone's being sneaky. That's the word. Someone's being sneaky here, and. It's about the stability or the instability of the home or the relationship. If you don't live together, then it's the relationship. But if you live together, then it's the home dynamic, the materialistic things, and the relationship on top of that. Um, there's a lot of family involved in this um, on their end or your end. And I'm reading it one time for Capricorn one way and then another way. So tune in for the other part. Um but there is this energy where I do feel like there's a there's a family talk or like a, a, a gathering or some type of one-on-one -on -one conversation you have with somebody pertaining to a decision that you're trying to make to have clarity or to have peace. Someone expects a, a certain a specific outcome. Someone is expecting in this relationship, this could be two people. You walk away from a relationship, Capricorn, to go towards somebody who's younger, who you may have legalities with, or you, you walk away from one connection in order to uh, be on your own, and then lo and behold, just to find out someone kind of babbles you or did some shady stuff with the court legalities, something like that. I never got this before. Um... Someone's really sad. So I see somebody here that's missing you, Capricorn, heavily. They're having sleepless nights, anxieties, doubts, worries, fears. Sadness is here. And I also see here when this person looks out the window to, to have this sadness, despair, or disappointment about watching you walk away. Because you see how this person's up in a building. They can look down and out. You're walking away and you're in these streets. So I don't know if they're seeing you walk away and you're walking towards whoever this person is. You see what I mean? So I get there's three people here. Someone is having sleep this nice about this ending. The other person is. So this could be you, Capricorn, or this could be you, Capricorn. But like I said, somebody here, whether it's you or them, a Capricorn in a relationship is walking away from one person to go to another and another person is not okay with that. And another person is just going to be upset about it. There's legalities in regards to this. It's getting messy. It's giving messy. There's a lot of hard work that has to happen. Whoa, this is trippy. Anyways, let me read it the other way for you guys who are curious what's going on for that other reading. Um, so that's one way. Um, this is interesting. This is so interesting. 
for some of you Capricorns, this is really interesting. For some of you Capricorns, I do see that you, if you're newly single, I do see that here you made a decision to walk away from a relationship where there was a liar, cheater, stealer, possibly a third party here, or possibly someone who just didn't give an F about the connection anymore for whatever reason. If that wasn't them, then it was you that felt like that. So you, whatever you, whatever side of giving and receiving an ending, you ended something. I do feel like it sparked up a lot of gossip between your friends or your family members by making this decision. Um, you kind of unexpectedly, you didn't expect to have it affect you on an emotional level. I do feel like you're still dealing with the emotions of this. You're like more focused on your career, your finances to get your mind off of this. Because I'm seeing sudden wealth here on the bottom of the deck here. It's like you're trying to bury yourself in work to forget about this. To help you heal. Or that this person is. If it's this person that ended it. This person is, but you, you're still kind of on your own thing. You're still working on yourself too. It's like you are definitely privileged or guided to go in the direction you're going, but you still have your eyes to the past. It doesn't matter who left who. I just feel like somebody still has their eyes on the past. But you're single, Capricorns. So you don't have to worry about anything, but I just feel like it didn't, it doesn't feel the way you thought it would feel. The single life. Um, it's not that you're missing the other person. You don't necessarily have to be. I just think that you're, you just thought it would be better. Like you, I think you thought that you'd be able to pick up your emotions better off the ground. I think you felt like you could mop up your tears and your thoughts off the ground a lot of, a, a little bit smoother. And it's, it's actually a hard time trying to get you to heal. So let's see what I want to say. Let me tap into my daily crystal, crystal inspiration deck. With that being said, it's like, I'm going to end this. It almost comes to me like, I'm going to end this because it's not for my highest good or that somebody did that to you, regardless of who did it to who. I feel like it left Capricorn in this energy like, it's fine. I'm going to get over it. I'm going to get better. And it's taking longer than you expected. So now you're like, I'm feeling too many feelings way too long. Like, why can't I get over this? It's not because you're supposed to get back with the person. It's just because you just have this healing work happening and, and like i don't think capricorn you really address your emotions like that before so yeah it's just putting you back in your solitude where you didn't realize what solitude felt like maybe you forgot what that felt like it's okay all right get up and get moving wow we have a bloodstone crystal here this is your advice. I wanted to pull your daily advice. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Prioritize your health. Wow. This is nice. It's a good recovery. Get out of your own way. Thank you, Jazz and OJ. So it seems like for some of my Capricorns, whether you resonate with the first part of the read or the second part, in general, this is kind of a general for Capricorn, this next message coming through, it seems like you are being guided to get out of your own way, which is your own headspace of thinking you're not worthy enough, you're not good enough, or that you're supposed to heal in a particular amount of time, or you're supposed to have your ish together, and you're supposed to do everything. Like, healing doesn't happen in three, two, one, go, done, check off the box, next, because that's what you're usually normally used to, Capricorn, because you have that discipline, and you also have that uh responsibility to do that in your career finances but you can't handle your emotions like that honey so this is telling me here that you are about to get out of your own way in order to um in order to heal this or to find out where these where, where these different pathways lead because you see how there, there's so many different pathways on this crystal it's going left right up down center back and forth over the hill and through the woods to grandmother's house we go like it's is giving a lot of stuff and it's spirit saying hey it's okay to be in this you don't always gotta be um rely reliable for everybody else just be reliant on you 
That's it. So um, spirit is saying this, th there's this energy, get up and get moving um, in giving yourself what it is that you need in your heart space and being kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself at this time. You're not going to have all the answers and everything that you need right now, but you are on the right path. If you felt like you weren't, you're on the right path. You're exactly where you need to be right now in this moment. If you're in my room and you're getting this message, you're exactly where you need to be. So that's your double confirmation. We also have turquoise crystal, prioritize your health. So you might want to do things in order to get out of your, in order to clear your headspace, especially if it feels and looks like this, there is this energy where you're going to be able to do something either physically with your health, emotionally with your health, in order to get yourself back into balance, in order to feel back to yourself, but the better version of yourself, the 2.0 Capricorn, the 2024 Capricorn equals eight energy right or that 2025 capricorn energy that you can channel in 2024 so it's a new version of yourself i do feel like an old version of yourself is dying off for some of my capricorns you could have a lot of pride or ego to some extent and that's why you're like oh i, I thought i was supposed to have it i was thought i was supposed to do it in a xyz amount of time and spirits spoke and they kind of told you yeah that's not how it works you know so now you're like okay what do I need to do? So now you're open arms, you're listening to your own intuition and your higher self. So I like this for you as far as love and relationships. That's what I'm channeling. You could be changing your diet, the things that you eat, the things that you drink. You could also be going out, I don't know, doing Pilates, yoga, meditation, sound bowl healing, Reiki. You could be going to the gym. You could be lifting really hard. You could be uh, back running if you're a runner or a, bicycle, a bicyclist, if you like to ride bikes or do marathons or something like that. You're going to be outside. Spirit is saying go outside. It's going to make your brain, your mind, your emotions feel a lot better. You need to breathe in some good prana, okay? All right, and you need to let that vitamin D shine on you, okay? To recharge you from a lot of the energy that you that you, that you kind of like were drained from, okay? From being in the relationships that you were in. So we have the citrine crystal here, bringing the light. See, it's right on the bottom of the deck. So it's like, it's giving the eclipse energy. I think this is what the eclipse was teaching you. Whoa, this is kind of deep. This is kind of deep, y'all. Pay attention. All right, y'all. The eclipse was teaching you something here about getting out of your way in order to see the light again, or in order to be the light for yourself, push this to the forefront. So it's giving that sunshine. It's also giving me bringing the light is the sun, the citrine. I do have citrine here. I do recommend that you, if you like, if you like crystals, and this is the last thing I'm going to say before we get to Sag. Um, if you like crystals, I would get you some citrine right now. So if you have a metaphysical store nearby, they're called metaphysical stores if you don't know about them, I wouldn't order them in online. I would go to an actual crystal shop if you have one nearby and get you some citrine. It's a really beautiful crystal. I highly recommend it. It always makes me feel really good when I get like a little bracelet like this of it, even if it's like a little power, a, a mini Powerball bracelet, or if it's like a thicker one like this or something, or a necklace or a ring or something. Get something with citrine on it. It's going to make you feel really, really motivated and really good. It has a lot of energy to it. If you're into crystals and you, that's part of your belief system, okay? If it's not part of your belief system, then scratch what I said. But um, I, do, I do believe that crystals hold energy just like plants. So there is this energy here that is available to you, okay? So if you like citrine, get yourself some citrine. It brings in joy, happiness, harmonious life, okay? Makes you feel good. And when you feel good, you look good. And when you look good, you feel good. <laughs> I remember somebody told me that. I was like, I'm going to say that all the time. Period. All right. So that was a deep read. I wasn't expecting to, to really read y'all, Capricorn, but we read y'all. All right. So pull it down on me. If it resonated, please definitely give this video a live stream like. And also, run up those shares. I have 10 more shares that I have left to go. So run up those shares to 100. Leo, shout out to the gang. Y'all brought me 170K likes. That's wild. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely stick around for any one of the readings or go back to watch the readings on the YT, on the tube of you. We are live streaming over there. You can rewind and rewatch any of the readings that you see crossed out here that we already did. If you came midway through Capricorn, you want to recap it, just go over there. On my YT, Oracle Game Betty, okay? I'm the only one over there, so it will take you straight to my profile, my account over there. You could just, like, rewind the video. All right? With that being said, 
Let's tap into Sag Gang Gang in the building. I know Sagittarius has been waiting for a long time, but not longer than the Virgos. So I know y'all are anxious, but the Virgos are last, last for real. All right. So don't do that. Don't be complaining in the chat because the Virgos come for that neck. All right. So we're going to get into Sagittarius Gang Gang in the building. Drop their zodiac sign down in the chat below. Drop them Target emojis. You know what I'm talking about? The Target one that's like kind of like Target's logo. Drop that target emoji down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. Hey, D with the moon. Thank you for the finger hearts. It's good to see you in the chat, boo. I missed you in the last uh, the last Saturday live stream. It was lit. I don't know if you were in there or not. I don't think so. All right. All right, you guys. Let's tap in. That was a deep read. That Capricorn reading, I felt so connected to that read. <coughs> I'm so like, that was like whiplash. The Aquarius read being so lost in y'all Aquarius reading to them being so found in Capricorn's reading. That was a, a spiritual whiplash. I'm gonna need to recover. I'm gonna need to recover. <laughs> I'm gonna need to recover. You said it resonated real bad for Capricorn, Jasmine OG. All right. So let's see, what do I have here? I'm trying to figure out, Sag, what Oracle deck I'm gonna use first. I think I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna go with this one. All right, here we go. Miss <laughs> Kia, you was in here earlier for Sag Reed, so you're really looking forward to this one. Well, I'll try not to let you down, but I'm not, I'm just the telephone. I'm not the divine. So we gonna see what they have for you, honey. <laughs> Thank you guys. That's your brother and sister-in-law. For real? Mr. Reed. It resonated for real. All right, here we go. King Roy says, can you please read Virgo? Please, I'm begging. <laughs> We're going to get to Virgo after Sag. Sorry, King Roy. You're just going to have to catch the replay. I love you guys, though. Thank you so much for being in the chat. Super excited. All right, I have to go in order because that's the way you guys came into the room. <laughs> Kia's like, just do your thing, girl. I trust you. Now bring me some messages. <laughs> Y'all are so cute. Thank you guys for pulling up. You guys are such a vibe. All right, so here we go. We have free yourself, okay? In the reverse. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sagittarius, we've been talking about this for a while. I hope it's from your heart space that you freed yourself. You freed yourself from your heart space because all we've been talking about for Sagittarius is that you need to open up your heart. You need to open up your heart. Stop being shallow. Stop being a shallow house. Stop worrying about luxury and that somebody needs that money to be with them and all this stuff. <laughs> it seems like you freed yourself because it's in the reverse. So it tells me that you have let go of an old version of yourself or an old way of thinking when it comes to love and relationships. As I'm seeing, as I'm saying that, I'm seeing up here on my viewership. Two, three, four. So we have two, three, four as your angel number to start off the reading. Look up what two, three, four means. Angel number in love. That's going to be your answer here so far. Okay. It says love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, there's this energy where you've already always have loved yourself first. Or you've been in this energy of like do for you first before you do for anybody else. It wasn't a selfish energy. It was more like you just respected your own needs. But there is this energy where I do feel like you cater to your own needs so much that your heart was blocked. So you weren't open to love. This is for those in a relationship or those who are single. You can take it out. It resonates per your relationship status. But as a general Sagittarius vibe here that I'm getting, I'm getting that you release yourself, okay? For some of you, you released yourself. This is going to be for others of you. You released yourself from a relationship, okay? You walked away from a relationship in order to love on yourself and to give yourself that self-love, self-care. You're no longer giving into relationships that are unrequited or based only on the coin or only on a benefit. So I do see something here that is also an old version of yourself kind of dissipating. So you could be that new 2024 into 2025 version of yourself that's going to be in alignment to receive your person. So I do feel like you've given up that that jig is up. You've given it up because um, you are just hiding behind materialistic things. You are burying yourself in materialistic things when it comes to your heart space. I mean, 
If you don't want nobody to get into your emotions and how you really feel and be vulnerable, what you going to do? You're going to buy something. It's going to make you feel good. And then you don't got to tap into the emotions. But how long can you do that? Right? So it's giving that energy, Sag. So you could be the shopaholic or somebody was uh, spoiling you and giving you things that you need money materialistic wise or gift wise or taking you out to eat or doing whatever. So there is that energy here that could be very detrimental to your uh, persona on who you should be and how you should who you should be in a relationship and how you should act in a relationship it like skewed everything so now you're being reset so that eclipse for you was a reset button speaking of the eclipse let's actually pull the card for what the eclipse was telling you during this um during this uh during this uh full moon was it new no, new moon new moon eclipse april 8th let's see what the eclipse is trying to tell you that new moon april 8th in aries in the sign of Aries pertaining to love and romance singles or in a relationship yeah they said release the past an old version of yourself is literally shedding away you see the snakes there so it's giving me that you shed old skin and you shed old ways of thinking if it's not old skin from the past it's your old ways of thinking about love and how you handle love and relationships it can go all the way back to your childhood it doesn't have to but it could all right, but whatever it is for you, it can go, it can stem all the way back there. You might, you might put the pieces to the puzzle and it might end up going all the way back there. Or it could be just in your adult life. But whatever it is, Spirit is saying that they gave you signs. And I do feel like your sign was the eclipse. You're going from something dark into light. Spirit wanted you to do nothing. They didn't want you to do anything during this eclipse. They don't want you to do anything during the Mercury retrograde. They just want you to be in free energy. And they also want you to heal at this time. So there's something here that you are loving yourself first. You're not doing for others. You're doing for yourself. But you're not also just like going out to brunch or going out and doing all these different things. You're healing in solitude. You're using your uh, quiet time to really get into that energy of what you need to call in your person. So you are transforming. This is what this is talking about. We have transforming in the past being the two darkest cards that came out. And then the two lightest cards that came out was do nothing and watch for signs. All you have to do is do nothing and have faith and watch for signs. You're on the right path and do the healing work. If you feel like you're called to like, hmm, maybe I should go outside to a park and maybe I should just like, I don't know, lay in the grass. I mean, I don't really like meditating, but maybe I just start with just like hanging out in the grass and just being on my phone. It could be as simple as that reading a book at the beach you never did that you just read a book at the beach there's these things of this energy okay it's telling you the reason why is because you're releasing that dark energy and you're turning it into light okay you're turning it, it into this light this is what you freed yourself from an old version of yourself like i said you guys you you were you were shallow housed with yourself you were kind of like in this energy of like i had to have it this way and my way or the highway um, you weren't really open to options in love. I do feel as though you were very nitpicky um, or you still are. So there's something of the past that's dying off and this is your transformative phase. So allow it to happen. If you don't feel good, it's okay. If your stomach hurts, if you are if you have headaches, if you, if you feel um, sad and you feel like you're crying all the time, you're like, oh, am I depressed? It's not that. It's you're ascending to the next level of commitment within yourself and your heart chakra is growing. You're going through a spiritual ascension. This is what it feels like. It doesn't feel like it, it's supposed to, you thought it was supposed to feel. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's what it's giving. So keep an open mind. See, this is exactly why I said what I said. This is exactly why. This is so beautiful. This is keeping an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? This is for singles or those in a relationship. So, like I said, just take it how it resonates because I'm just going to read it for what it is for my Sag. Um, loving yourself first is going to help you attract those who also love themselves or who also have done this shadow work, okay? These shadow whatever this is, transforming their past selves into the version that they are now. So... It's not that your past was a waste of time either. Your past has brought you to this point 
of attracting who it is you're about to attract. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So as you're working on yourself, Sagittarius, because I know you feel like you're not working on yourself because you're in the energy of hermit mode or doing nothing or feeling useless or feeling like, uh, I could just go back to being service level. I could just go back to being like just doing it for the benefits or friends with benefits or whatever with the benefits and the coin and the materialistic or whatever, whatever, and just focusing on my career and not addressing my feelings and not addressing the past, like all that stuff. Mm -mm. Like you're going to realize that like, as you're healing all that stuff, somebody's coming towards you, okay? Somebody's coming towards you, and we have your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. It's divinely guided. You see the angel guiding these people towards you. This is a representation of you, Sag, whether you're Oracle King, Betty, or Zeddy. I don't read genders. And this is a representation of the options that are there for you if you ever so are open to them. So Spirit wants you to keep an open mind. And in order to keep an open mind, your heart has to be open. So there is this energy here where you're about to be in alignment with your true love or a person who has everything to give in a relationship. And it could be triggering up things of the past, which is why you need to work on this now so you don't have to do so much work on yourself while you're in the connection and necessarily scare this person away. Because my Sagittarius, y'all are fire signs. You could really scare somebody away for real. So they're telling me to stay ready so you don't got to get ready when this person comes through. So you're on the right path. If you felt like you was not doing the right thing or it feels weird or whatever, that's what it's giving. Okay, that's what the eclipse was giving you. Um, so now let's get into uh, who this person is. Okay, uh, for some of you guys, you already have this person, by the way. For some of you Sagittarius, you are in a relationship with this person right now. I just described them. I just described you in the relationship with them. So it's giving me that you do have an open mind that this relationship will work out and you do have trust and faith that this relationship will work out because this person has showed you something and they have showed you that this relationship is healing and healthy and not toxic, toxico, toxica energy. Okay, you know what a toxic trait relationship looks like because you are a toxic trait yourself to yourself. So it goes to show you that you know that you're in a healthy relationship and now you're just being toxic you know to the relationship and you're not trying to it's because you're healing and so this person is here for you so with that being said i do feel like this is an ascension to the next level of commitment here which is nice for those of you who are in a relationship for my sag wow bottom of the deck see i told you we're channeling now it's too late we strapped up i told you it was going straight to the divine if you didn't have your seatbelt on here we go it has um forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more loving and present moments this is nice this is nice. You experience more love because of the work that you're doing on yourself, Ashe, and so it is. What? I didn't know that this was going to come out for you. Like I said, this Capricorn and Sag energy, the last two readings of the night, close the second to the last two readings of the night, it's just too close to spirit for me. I thought we was going to talk about the tea. I thought we was going to have fun. Spirit said, no, we need to sit Sagittarius down and we need to talk to them. I was like, okay, shoot. I thought he was going to have fun. I was like, no. Sagittarius has been having too much fun. All right, here we go. So what do we have here for my Sag game babies and babies? We have thoughts in the reverse. So yeah, you freed yourself here. It's here twice. So let's see. Oh. <laughs> I sound like Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh. Um, okay, so we have thoughts in the reverse. It seems like you're you're transforming your thoughts from the past. You're freeing yourself from that, which is abundant in this present moment, which now you can focus on your career in a way where you don't feel like you're avoiding something else or another part of yourself. So now you're focusing on your career in a healthy way. You're going to see that your career flourishes because you're, you had a blockage in your heart. So your money could have been really slow or you could have been getting opportunities and then they kind of like went to a pause or you could have been getting like opportunities that could have been better. But you're just like, mm, this isn't what it, this ain't what I want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. It was giving that energy. So I'm just like, I'm feeling it for you, okay? But it's it's showing me here because your heart chakra is open a little bit more and you're releasing the emotional baggage and physical baggage, there is this energy where your money actually, or your opportunity at least to make mon more money, whether you work for yourself or someone else, is actually building. So as you're building your finances from a aspect of your passions and what you're passionate about career and creation wise, 
it goes hand in hand with how you can be passionate and open and creative in your love life. And so this is what's, this is what's happening. So um, this is giving me recovery with the bad health card. It's giving me that you are recovering from anything that you saw that was a loss or anything that you recognized in the past. I'm getting that you're... Your inner divine, masculine, feminine, and your inner child are all kind of working together now. And they're all trying to recover. Like you're integrating your higher self with what you want in love. And you're attracting somebody who's mature. So male or female, I don't read genders on the cards. I just read energies. You're attracting a male or a female figure here that is definitely a beautiful connection. Mature, someone who is well-knowledgeable, wise. Um, they don't have to be older than you, like this person in the card, but they are somebody who is definitely that image of like, they could be the father of my child or they could be the mother of my child. There are this image of like this mature person who has a good head on their shoulders. They have life experiences. Maybe they just know how to handle you. It's giving me Meg the Stallion, like handle me, who gonna handle me? Well, this person will. This is the handle me person okay this is the handle you person so this person can handle anything you throw because they've been through it as well they know exactly what you're going through and they might outsmart you so i know sagittarius you might be shook with this you might be turned on by this to be quite honest because you thought you you ran the stuff and you realize oh snap who do you see is so it's giving that this person could be five years younger than you and just more mature or this person could be five years older than you but look young and they're very mature. Um, but this person is very much knowledgeable. They probably have a lot of good um, insight into handling um, finances, career, work, love, relationships, any genre of life. You could probably go to them for advice. I feel like they're also a person who likes to travel or well-traveled, which matches Sagittarius's energy. So I feel like, Sag, you're going to want to definitely travel with this person or this person's going to want to be chivalrous and take you places. And we also have um, the High Honors card. So I do feel like this person is somebody who, the type of person you've always been waiting for. Now, for some of you guys, you're already with this person I'm describing. So you're going to know who I'm talking about because you're already with this person. For others of you, you have yet to meet this person. So you're single, Sag, and this is who's coming towards you. So take it out, resonates. But I am seeing here this energy of like victory after the battle royale that you went in yourself internally I don't feel like this has not this doesn't have too much to do about what happened outside of you as far as your emotions this has everything to do of the blockages that you put up on your own heart the walls that you built the walls that you have to break down now so that's what it's giving so that's what I'm seeing here for the high honors card it's victory after the battle that that you went through internally so I feel like you are attracting this person very soon but let's just see the timing because i know y'all are probably going to ask me the time and i know certain sagittarians that watch they always ask me so we're just going to pull the time cards real quick and then we're going to get into virgo's read so i hope this delivered what it was supposed to oh excuse me what it was supposed to for my sagittarians all right <clears throat> what do we have for my sag gang babies and babies what do we have for my sag gang babies and babies up in the building wow you guys we got to 100 shares thank you so much i just noticed we're about to get to uh, almost 200k likes it's crazy yes keep tapping that like button for me thank you so much lynette we have tomorrow we have april what later than you think what I said, when is this coming in for you? Tomorrow in April, later than you think? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, between tomorrow, April, like this month. Okay, I see what they're saying. So between April this month and summertime, it is coming later than you think, but faster than you think. So it's coming everything, everywhere, all at once, all at the same time. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but it's giving me that it's coming faster than you think, even though it's even though you think it's coming later than you think. So whatever you thought was going to come in later just subtracts like some time from that. I don't know. Sub use your imagination. But um, yeah, between April and summertime. So what's summertime? I'm going to say summer starts. What's the first day of summer? June? 
or is it in July? One of those. So between April and June or July, you could be attracting somebody. For some of you, it's not going to be during that time frame. For some of you, it's going to be a little later than that time frame because that's why Spirit was saying later than you think. For some of you, it comes faster than you think. For And that's going to be April through summer because you go through your healing work a lot differently. And for others of you, um, I feel like there is this energy where you might actually attract this person a little later after summertime, like specifically August, September, October, just like off the tail end, just before fall. So it's a little later than you thought. So if we think that this is the energy, then it's a little later than this energy, than the summertime energy. Yeah. Y'all are on the right path though. It's gonna happen this year. So at least you have that. I mean, for most of you, I don't know your business. I don't know if it's gonna be all of you, but it is definitely going to happen. Because I keep channeling that in Sagittarius' read. I keep channeling you guys running into a soulmate. But you're challenged with this heart blockage. And we get it almost every time in your, in your reading. Watch the other Sag readings. You'll see what I'm talking about on my YouTube at Oracle Game Daddy. But if this reading resonated with you, thank you so much for tapping in. And for following me. Definitely give me a follow before you leave so you can get that notification next time I'm live streaming. I live stream these love readings on Thursday, okay? On Thursday, you guys. So I'll be live streaming again on Thursday for the love readings. As well as for the career readings during the day at 9 a.m. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you're more than welcome to. I offer personal reading booking services. Booking services. I offer personal reading services. You can book with me at oraclegangbaddy.com. Oraclegangbaddy.com is the only way to book a personal reading with me. With that being said, let's get into Virgo's reading. I know Virgo's been waiting for ever, ever. Forever, ever. I'm so emotionally exhausted. You know your heart is definitely blocked. You are working. I know that's right. It's everything you needed. I love that. I love that response for you. The response spirit gave us was all in time for what you needed. All right. So that's what I'm seeing here. Let's get into Virgo's read. I know I slowed down a little bit, but it was all when Aquarius started. Aquarius, Capricorn, and Sag, the way their readings had to be read... I had to listen more to the divine and I had to pay more attention to what was happening here because I was getting deeper downloads. Like I go from like really, if y'all notice Virgo, I go from like really fun, high energy, exciting reads that we're talking about everything and it's all moving to like sometimes in certain uh, videos or certain zodiac signs, it's time to get real raw and like down to the nitty gritty. So that just goes to show you the dynamic of like what I can tap into. But it also just shows you that there's certain messages for certain people for certain zodiac signs. So I'm sorry that it takes a while, Virgos. I wasn't trying to hold you. But um, some people just need a message. And if I'm going to do this right, I'm going to send it to them. And one day it's going to be you too. So like I said, you know, sorry that I kept you. But we definitely need to do it the right way the first time. So we don't got to double back. You feel me? I'm that person. All right. You said Virgos are going through it right now. What you going through? You going through something? Oh my God. Not me screaming like that. Not y'all having me scream like an auntie in the chat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Um, you say you guys been going through it for real. Y'all been waiting since yesterday. <laughs> Why are you waiting from yesterday? Christina. Anyways, drop your zodiac sign down in the chat stream below. Let me know you're ready for the read. Sagittarius, gang, babies, and Zanies up in the building. Happy birthday to all my Aries gang, gang. I see them coming into the YT a little later. <laughs> RC, it was spot on for you. I'm just now reading your comment. I was so I was so into those readings. I'm just now reading your comment. All right, let's get Virgo started. I had to take a little snack break. All right, Virgo, I'm going to let y'all pick y'all Oracle deck real quick. Messages of love, Oracle deck. So we're going to call this the Rose deck. Or, hold on. Hold on. 
Cosmic Insights. We're going to call this Cosmic. So Rose or Cosmic? Rose is the left. Cosmic is the right. You pick. We're going with what you choose tonight. The most scent is the rose. They said both, please. No, because I'm gonna do something special for you guys. It's not gonna be an. It's not gonna be the oracle deck though for both. All right, we're gonna start off with the rose deck. All right, we're gonna start off with the rose. All right, you guys. All right, what do we have? For my Virgos, my Virgo gang babies and daddies, thank you so much for coming up out on me and for being so consistent in the live stream the entire time, even though we weren't working on your reading. I appreciate y'all. What time is it where I'm at? 10, 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. where I'm at. Nicole Mercedes. She's like, I want that red. Virgo gang gang in the building. Jay Killa, you love my setup? Thank you, thank you, K Nicole. I appreciate you for saying that. I work hard for you. <laughs> I work hard for my money. <laughs> no, for real, I was working hard. Stupid hard. All right, anyways. All right, here we go. What do we have? You missed the baby birds? <laughs> Descostia, <laughs> they're sleeping. <laughs> We're Sky and Halo, they're sleeping. My babies are sleeping. My Oracle Gang birdies, I have pet birds. You, you guys are like, they're like uh, two months old now. Everybody met them when they were one week. It was so cute. All right, here, here we go. Wow, so we have Destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. This is either how you feel, Virgo, or someone feels like this about you. You could be in a relationship or you could be single. Take it out. Resonate. Reciprocity. I want to have an equal give and take. Okay. Runner. I don't want to run anymore. You know what I just heard when I when I said this? I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. That's literally what I heard. That's literally what I heard. So I don't know if you were dealing with a player or you were the player, Virgo. But I don't want to be a runner no more. I'm not a runner. I just chase a lot. Oh, who am I reading? Who am I reading? And I, oh. All right, so there is this energy of, I wish this never happened. Someone feels regret. Someone feels uh, in this Virgo collective, whether you're in a relationship or not, uh, this could be the past person or this could be you or this could be the person you're with. Someone here feels regret. Someone feels as though there's some type of guilt in regards to how the situation is going or has gone. I wish this never happened. What's underneath this? unappreciated i felt like you didn't care what's underneath that dishonesty by lying i ripped us apart yeah somebody was a liar cheater stealer here we just got that from the runner the dishonesty and the regret so i see here that somebody's very lost on their destiny trying to find the right path when it comes to love and romance not being satisfied with what they have in front of them someone thinking the grass is greener elsewhere instead of the grass is greener where you water it and where you keep the grass cut low so you can see the snakes. You feel me? So if you're going to have a relationship, have a relationship. But you need the grass cut low. Because sometimes people be mm -hmm, trying to slide and slither up in your, mm -hmm, up in your relationship without you knowing. So that's what it's giving. What else do we have here? Yeah, I get that somebody lied here. I don't know if it was you that was a liar. I don't know if they were the liar, but there's somebody who was a runner and a chaser. So someone here was giving more to the connection to someone who was running away from it. I do feel like someone regrets wasting their time. Virgo, I feel like you regret wasting your time with somebody who was being in that energy. 
I do feel like you may, you may have felt like you were like underneath a spell. I put a spell on you and now you're gone. All right, I, I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna talk on um, black magic on you. I'm not gonna do that. Um, what I'm saying is that I feel like you were dematized. You know what I'm saying? D-I-C-K-matized or V-matized. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's kind of like the 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 layer you kind of put over your 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 face, okay? So somebody was hypnotized by the physicality of the relationship instead of on a deeper level emotionally, and someone else wasn't. You see what I'm saying? Somebody else was invested into it for the sexual aspect of things, but somebody else wasn't. Somebody was trying to make it real. So you put yourself in whatever category you're in with that Virgo and the other person in that. Um, we have make a decision. Work on inner healing. This is the biggest challenge is to work on healing. Feeling like you wasted all your time because you were bamboozled or you had like the rose colored glasses on to think that somebody was there for you or down for you. And it ended up being revealed. For some of you, this could have been revealed during the eclipse. For others of you, this could have been revealed uh, a month or two ago. And you're still picking up the pieces, but the eclipse just brought back up the emotions that you were trying to suppress or the emotions that you thought you already got over or something like that. I don't know. Maybe this person came back, reminded you of it, or maybe you saw something on social media about them and then it just like made you like get the ick. Mm-hmm. So the reason why this didn't... <clears throat> The reason why this didn't continue is because obviously it wasn't meant to be, but the other reason why this didn't continue is because it showed you something about yourself. The fact that you felt like somebody didn't appreciate you tells you that you're seeking outside validation, Virgo. So there's something that you learn here by being with this person. You felt like this person didn't care, so you tried to prove yourself to this runner. This person was showing you in different ways in their actions and behaviors and patterns that they were running from the connection. And so there is this energy where um, you were seeking outside validation to somebody who was already going in an opposite direction. So there is that energy here. So now that you learned from this, now that this lesson was put in your path, it really wasn't. You put yourself in this path. But now that you've already learned from this, you realize that, oh, you felt like they didn't care. It's actually that you didn't care about you enough to walk away from it when you saw the runner leaving. You see what I'm saying? So, and, and when you heard the dishonesty or you saw the dishonesty, you, you gave it another chance because you wanted to be an open heart, which I don't blame you for that. But now the challenge right now is to work on inner healing so now because you stayed in that and because you kind of reprogrammed your mind a little bit to be in that energy now you have to deprogram your mind deprogram your heart and so that's where the healing comes from so that's what i'm seeing here so you might be struggling to feel like you're on the right path but i promise you what i'll tell you what and i'll tell you once you're on the right path even though you feel like you're struggling to find the right path you are on the right path because what it is that you want is you want to have an equal give and take. This is the card right here. <laughs> he's a runner. He's a track star. Yeah, that's what it was giving. There is here that you have, I want to have an equal give and take. This is how you really feel deep down. This is what you really want. And um, I do feel like the runner wasn't giving that and that's okay. You learn something from that and you take what you learn and you, you don't harbor resentment. You take what you learn and you integrate it with healing and then you're healed and then you're like oh okay now i'm ready for an equal give and take let me go back out there and find my person or have a person find me just go out there with my face card and get scooped up because now you know what to look out for and before you didn't know what you wanted or to look out for or maybe you were bamboozled and now you know what bamboozled looks like you know what i'm saying air sign they could have been a gemini libra or an aquarius if they're if they weren't this is a past person or a person you're currently dealing with. If they weren't, then this is showing me that you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart. So you could be a Virgo sun and a Gemini moon or something like that. So that's what I see here. But take it how it resonates. And give it time. 
be gentle with yourself. You are growing, you're evolving, you're changing. When it comes to love and romance, you have it. It's here for you, but it's going to take divine timing in order for you to lick your wounds, get back together. You know what I'm saying? For others of you, you already did this. You've already surpassed this. So now I'm talking to, I talked to those who are going through this. Now I'm talking to the people who've already done this. You already done this. You already passed that. You're actually open to love and, you know, you want me love. So let's see what's coming towards you for the people who are past this. All right. Let's see what's coming towards you for the people who are past this energy. Because not everybody's in the same energy. We're all on different levels, but we're all ascending, going to the same destination. You feel me? So there is this energy where just because you're a little bit further behind doesn't mean that you're behind. You're right on time where you need to be. So don't don't be uh, putting yourself and dragging yourself through the mud for what? Making yourself feel overwhelmed for what? When you're on the same course and, and there's a seat at the table for everybody, everybody can eat. That's what Spirit said. So don't do that. Everybody can eat. All right, so with that being said, what do we have here? <laughs> Nicole said, not you being so loud, child. The cards are carding. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you for your comments, you guys, and for keeping the chat in the, in the YouTube lit and also in the TikTok lit. Dang, we reached 101 shares on TikTok and 200K likes. Y'all did that. Shout out to the gang. I know that's right. Shout out to the gang. What else do we have here for Virgo? Virgo gang babies and deities. We have chemistry here. <gasps> Look at what you receive. Ah, oh, Shay, and so it is. I know that's right. I sound like somebody's auntie. Oh, Shay, and so it is. No, but for real. Ah, oh, Shay, and so it is. Look. We have there's a strong magnetic connection here. And we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Reed. I love y'all too. <laughs> Dang, this is nice. Very soon you're going to have to clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you now, period. Very soon something's coming towards you, honey. That's why you got to get ready <laughs> right now. So you, so you stay ready. So you don't got to get ready when this comes to you. Ooh, I love this for you, Virgos. Shout out to all my Virgo gang. Very soon. There's going to be chemistry and getting to know somebody else very soon, very new. So these are for the people who got past this energy. So now the people who are still going through this, at least you know what you're looking forward to. Ew. So this is a sneak preview, but you got to do something first. You got to give to yourself first. For those of you, you're past this, what I talked about, and this is what you're receiving. So both sides of the, both sides of the coin are correct, okay? Yes, I like this for you, okay? I'm shook. I'm shook. Look at this. I'm excited for you, Virgos. Y'all, this was worth waiting for. This reading, period. Worth waiting for, hands down, point blank. Don't want to hear nothing else. Look at this. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Ashe, and so it is. On the bottom of very soon. I literally lifted this off of this, and this is what was revealed. You're wondering, where am I going? I'm struggling to find the right path. Where am I going? Spirit said, you're going in the direction I told you to go in. And yeah, it doesn't look good. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Yeah, it doesn't look like the cookie cutter shape you thought it was supposed to look like. But nothing looks like that. And anything worth having is going to look like something completely different. And when you get there, it's going to be this. Ascending to a higher level of commitment engagement here. Wow, do you win? Do you win, Virgo? Ashe, so it is. Do you win? Virgos win. Virgos win. Look at this. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Look what you get. Beautiful energy here. You win. A win is a win is a win is a win is a win. Is a win. <laughs> okay, period. So um, let's get into the energy of, y'all want me to pull something else or are you happy with this? I was happy with this, but if you want me to pull one more card or something. Mm -hmm. You said no more? I wasn't trying to hold y'all. I can read forever. Don't do that. Don't tell me more. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. What is the? What was the eclipse telling you? Now that we know that this is your energy, what was the eclipse telling you the whole time? That's what I want to know. 
Let's tap in. That's what I want to know. Let's get it. 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 And let it rain. Clear it out. Let's see. What do we have here? For my Virgos. What do we have here for my Virgos? What do we have here for my Virgos? What is the Eclipse telling them? Ooh, I can't wait for the reveal. They just fell right here. So I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that right there. Ooh, take a deep breath. Wow. Because there's new beginnings. Wow, this is Aries energy. That new moon in Aries we had was April 8th, and it was an eclipse. And the last card that came out with it, Enchanted, Moonlight, Manifestations, something that seems so magical and enchanted in your life coming to fruition. It's a connection. It's also the connection to you. Deepening, healing, bonding so that you can be in alignment for the person who you're going to be healing, deepening, and bonding with. Shout out to the gang. Man, this was a good read for y'all. Man, this was a good read. Uh, it's an engagement. You're ascending to a next level of you. And in this ascension level to the next level of you, you meet somebody who's already on that platform. And now you're about to be in alignment. And y'all going to be like this. And it's going to be real cute. And y'all going to have to invite me to these weddings. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to pull up on you. I'm trying to pull up. I'm be in the crowd. And be like, I did that. I did. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so let's get an extra bell and whistle for you. Let's see who this person is. Let's see zodiac sign wise. What is who this person is? We'll get we're, we'll get into the zodiac sign. Oracle card dice to close you out. We'll also get into your angel number to close you out. Angel number. All right, you guys. Let's see what zodiac sign could be coming towards my Virgos. It's a new zodiac sign, or it's a zodiac sign that's compatible to them somewhere in their chart. It could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement. Wow, Virgos, you get a Virgo energy. So someone who's an earth sign energy coming towards you or they have earth sign placement in their chart. Virgo, energy heavy here. Sun, moon, rising, or their Venus placement. It keeps landing on Virgo. Uh, Okay. So we have it again. Find yourselves. Exactly. That's what it's giving. Thank you so much, my love, for saying that. It lands on Taurus. It's only landing on Earth sign energy. They said you're going to be very compatible with the Earth sign, either in the Sun sign, Moon sign, Rising, or Venus placement. I don't know if that's focusing. But anyways, it says Taurus. Let's get one more. Ooh, Cancer. So this person could actually have Cancer, Virgo, or Taurus in their top three. Moon rising and Venus placement. Sun, moon rising, or Venus placement. Their top three or four. It's going to be a Cancer, Virgo, Taurus kind of combination that's really balanced with your energy. So even if you don't like that sign individually as a sun sign, it's something about this person that has a, a particular placement in their chart that's compatible to yours. So maybe it's your Venus signs that match and that are super compatible. Or maybe it's like your, your uh, sun signs that are super compatible. Something of this nature is so grounding for you. It's really nice. It's this energy. So let's get your angel number for the read. This could be a number that you could have been seeing a lot lately or that you will see a lot lately or a lot soon when you meet this person. So this could be a number that you see in, this, in the near future or that you're seeing now to remind you that you have something on the horizon. Wow, we have 444. So four could be very significant to you. You could be born on the 4th fourth day you could be a uh, life path number four you could be seeing repeating four four fours four could be significant to you in any way what else two half of four is two so 24 or 42 could be a number that's significant to you in age or in healing maybe you're healing from the 24 and now you're 42 
You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're healing from your 20s. Maybe it's been 24 years. I don't know. I don't know your business. It may have been two to four years. We also have two to two. You could be a life path two, which is a master number 11. A master number 11 equals a two. So if you're a life path two, you'll know. Double confirmation. You could be born on the second. What is the angel number? One. You see how it landed? It landed so like, like a magnet too. Um, this is a one. You could have been seeing repeating one one ones, eleven elevens. Um, you could have been seeing the numbers one two four, four twenty one two one four or something like that. Maybe that's somebody's um, area code, zip code, uh, license plate number combo, or like address phone number or something like that. Um, you guys could be a life path one. You could be born on the first week of your month that you're born in or the first day. For some of you, you could be born in the second week of the month that you're born in or the second day. All those numbers added together, four, six, seven. So... Seven is your angel number overall. And seven is the abundant number of, for like the lucky number of the, the numerology. Seven is a good lucky number. So yeah, I like this for you. This is what I have for you, Virgos. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I mean, I ain't doing nothing else over here. <laughs> but you have prosperity here and love. So that makes sense. You would like past seven? Ooh, I like that for you represents wealth yeah so it represents abundance when it comes to love so you do have new beginnings here so it's a it's a fiery new beginning here with this new moon aries energy bringing back strength bringing back happiness joy bringing back some type of serenity it's really nice i like this for you a lot but it required you to take a step back and take a deep breath so that's what it's giving this got deep. Towards the end of the night, I don't know why the readings just started going somewhere else. But they got deep, deep. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Normally not like this, but I don't mind it. All right, so hopefully you guys don't either. Um, with that being said, this is going to be a reading, Virgo. So thank you so much for allowing me to tap into your energy and for pulling up on me on both platforms, YouTube and TikTok. If you would like to go rewatch the reading at any given time on YouTube, you can start rewatching it now. You can watch it right after this live stream. It is posted right away, so it'll be up on there. Um, with that being said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, if these readings resonate with you, you can book a personal reading with me at oraclegangbaddy.com. OracleGangBetty.com is the only way to book a personal reading with me. So um, those are available to you at any given time, and I'm always available for a booking. All the readings are pre-recorded and sent to you via email. So that's how I do them for right now until I'm able to open up phone line bookings. I'm not able to open those up just yet, okay? So I'm working on that part. Um, also, if you would like to subscribe to my TikTok on the bottom left of the screen, um, you'll see a little star icon, and that star is going to be your way to subscribe to my TikTok at $2.99 a month. So if you'd like to purchase that, you're more than welcome to. You're going to get a gang badge. You're also going to get access to my OG Moji stickers that I customized myself with the Photoshop. And then you also get a five-minute personal reading every Saturday. So if you would like to be um, one of those five-minute personal reading uh, winners, or not winners, but like live stream readers, you can come into my live stream on Saturdays. Saturday mornings is when I do it. All right, so... You're welcome. You're welcome, you guys. I appreciate you. You haven't caught a Virgo reading in forever, minding your business. Oh my God, I haven't seen you in the chat in forever. I'm so glad you caught this one too. I'm so glad you came up on and came and pulled up on me. Hey, Brittany. Thank you so much for the follow. Shout out to the guy. Pretty Naira. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Jenny. Oh, Jimmy, I'm sleepy. <laughs> oh, my God, me too. Just imagine what I feel like. I'm over here shuffling cards. My forearms hurt. Yeah, bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> you say you missed the Sag reading, but you listen to your Virgos reading? Oh, you missed the Sag reading? You can just go back to the YouTube. It's on there. 
It'll be on there, mom, mamas. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Um, did I announce everything? I think I did. So I will see you guys on Thursdays, you guys. Um, Thursday and Tuesdays are the only two days I live stream now. So um, pull up around me on Thursday. All right. I'll see you guys Thursday night. Um, also, Thursday during the day, I will be offering the career reading. So Thursday will be the career readings at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And um, yeah, this, this is what it is. 6 p.m. Obviously, you guys know here. You said let you know when leave us our first. Oh, that's going to be during their uh their season. That's going to be during their season. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this bug came from, but I have a little gnat here. I think it's because I ate a banana earlier. I'm like, I hope this gnat didn't fly on my food. Don't y'all hate that? Anyways, that was so random. Let me get off this live stream. It's time to get in. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Have a good night and have a good rest of your your week. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys on Thursday. I know I'm still here, but it's only because I'm cleansing out my energy. Thank you, Source Creator Ashe. I'm waiting for y'all to leave. No, I'm just kidding. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys. Bye.